We got a guest. He's chomping at the bit to get in here. Let me do, give you a quick background on this guy. So CH is the owner of the channel Homebrew for Life, which he started back in 2016, and since then has gained 45.9 thousand subscribers and and <laughs> and 4.5 million views in just 280 videos. Uh, he is a hilarious guy, a good friend, the king of DIY, and the keeper of the cats. Let's bring in our buddy, CH. Come on down. <laughs> What's going on, man? What's up, brother? Am I on the prices right or what? You are. I need the buttons to like, I mean, I have them here. I got a program. Come on down. Get over you here. Have, you don't have the stream, the stream labs thing. I, I have a little stream deck, but it's limited. It's like a six buttons. Yeah. Oh, I know which one you have. Yeah. You cut a little bit of corners on there, man, but, uh, <laughs> How right you, on stoked to be here um yeah, i think i'm looking at it over here so i finally know what it looks like to uh look at the delay yeah. usually i'm the other way around i i don't know i've got this computer my mac i'm cooking with grease tonight and then my pc over here has the delay so usually i'm it's the it's the other way around but i'll get caught up and whoa that was zoomed in i'll, I'll sit back a little bit. <laughs> I know that you're I'm, seeing the, you're seeing the other side of it, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> like, fuck, that's what I look like. <laughs> Shit. Well, how, what's how's up, it, everybody? How's it going, man? Like, what have you been up to? It's going good. Putting out content. Felt really good about that. Um, it was really like the flu went around here in Knoxville for the first couple of weeks. Everybody got sick. I think it was the flu or or whatever you want to call it. It was it, people were getting sick and it was contagious. Yeah, whatever label you want to slap on that. And then when I wanted to start putting out content again, I talked to you, you know, I was like, Hey, you know, back in November, December, it's like, we got to put up, we got to you know, go for it this year. And you know, you always put out content. Elementary puts out content. Apartment Brewer puts out content, but people flare out pretty fast in the, uh, niche that we're in or the theme that we're in, yeah. the, the content, um, style that we're in. But I was like, I want to go for it. And I want to hit the ground running. And I, and I talked to you about kind of branching out and kind of, you know, obviously homebrew is the theme, but like this was the year it was like adapt or die, you know, mm. bartending stuff or how can people ferment without spending a thousand dollars or even $500, you know, and I'm kind of stealing that from you a little bit. And I think that has worked very well for you. I think that's, um, I mean, you've got videos you've put out there. Like, I don't even know what this fucking word is. <laughs> I got, Kafir or Tapache, you know, I don't even know what's going on. I need a translator, <laughs> but I think that's a great idea. And, and I, and I've got a good thing where I'm brewing on Saturday. I'm we're filming on Monday. I, you know, you can always do like the top five ways to save money or, you know, like the top 10 things you're doing now. Cause homebrewing definitely changes from time to time. Even though I only brewed like six times last year, I still picked up on a couple things. Hmm. Um, so it just feels good to be putting out content again. I think it's going to be a really good year. YouTube wise. I had a really good year. W two wise. If like for me, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And I had just a really bad YouTube year and it was usually the other way around. It was usually like, you know, when I was in San Diego, I was like, I'm just going to put all my chips into YouTube and then pour beer on the weekends. But it kind of flip flop when I was trying to buy a house and um, just just create different types of money. You know, W2 money is a little bit different than 1099 money. Right, yeah, whatever. But it, it would be good to go back to just putting more chips into YouTube. So that's cool. Yeah, it is cool. And it's cool that everyone's here right now because we did a stream last night and the Bruce show was here. <laughs> yeah. I could tell that there's already 71 people here. So shout out to anyone who's in here right now. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Eric Nelson. <laughs> thanks for coming in a double back to back and a binge. 100%. 100%. <laughs> what are you drinking, Brush? I'm drinking my spruce tip beer. How about you? I'm doing Rhymes Like Dimes from Zool. And this is, um, check this out, Gold Award World Beer Cup for. Hazy IPA. Nice. That is no joke, my friends. That is, yeah, that's real good. I that have, is no joke. I got a second beer here if we get to it, if we have time. This We're going to be is, doing some 16-ounce <laughs> curls. This one you might recognize. Got a famous name. Hetty Topper. Been saving this Oh, one. shit, man. Yeah, yeah. So maybe we'll get into that later. Yeah, and I'm glad to be here. I know that you've done these in the past. You hit 50,000 subscribers, you son of a bitch. You, you did it for me. <laughs> well, you're right. You're almost there, man. You're 40, 49, what, 45.9? Yeah, you just got to put out content. I, and me in elementary, we talked about that. And I had um, uh, party time on before that. And we're like, dude, we only put out like 10 videos last year. What did you do? 
Last put out like thirty. Yeah, probably up. Yeah, probably about thirty. I think. Yeah, because I didn't Are do one. Just, I, I skipped last year. In the years past, I did one every week. So last gnarly. year, I kind of like I slowed down a little bit, and I'm even. Was it too much between your job and your relationship with your wife, and just? I mean, you don't have to answer that. No, no, no. It, yeah, it, it is like a grind. You to actually put out have a, to answer that. Yeah. yeah. It's like a grind to uh, put out a video every single week, no matter like if you're doing a vlog or if you're editing like high production value stuff. So I yeah. I wanted to prolong or at least keep my YouTube career going. So I figured let's find a flow that works for like myself and uh, yes, keep it going. And, and everyone has the YouTube blues, you know, and I'm always kind of anxious to, you know, you're, you're competing with yourself. Here's what happens when you upload a video, it shows you your last 10 recent uploads and like what, where they were at in terms of five hours in or 10 hours in, or, you know, a couple months in. And when you get like that seven, eight, nine, 10, you're like, damn, this sucks. You know, and nothing's yeah. really a big deal. If you get that number one, it feels really good, but like your channel's just going to taper off after yeah. you know, four or five days. It's, like but a it is, it's a very gamification. Like you're trying to like get the high score every week. And you're only competing with yourself and it's fun yeah. to compete with yourself. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like a, you know, there's a reason that everyone's got their own PR. What does PR stand for? Personal record, you know? So, right. It's all good. Yeah, well, good to well, see Elementary in here now and Zach Pearson. Yeah. I got a $50 donation from Zach last night. No way. And, uh, yeah, nice. and, I, and I took that money and I bought a case of beer today. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Thanks, Zach, for supporting. Thanks, Dave, man. Much love you, Braj. <laughs> um, all right. Well, before we get too ahead of ourselves, I want to back things up. and like, Sure. I don't think I've ever asked you this or like known. Like, how did you get started in home brewing all right, and, and, and brewing and fermenting in general? Battle Mage, Chris, um, we've been to Battle Mage. We were there, mm -hmm. what, mid-October. Um, I don't know if it was like, uh, and I've talked to everything, uh, you know, I've been doing this stream for a couple of years now. Um, I don't know if it came from feeling like left out or ego, but I was like, if there's a childhood friend opening up a brewery, like I have to be involved at some point, mm -hmm. you know, like everybody wants the Willy Wonka job. Everybody wants to own a brewery. Every, everybody it like the dream, the idea of owning a brewery was the coolest thing of all time. Yeah. It was the coolest thing of all time. And this was the time 10 years ago in San Diego where everybody was trying to be involved in the craft beer scene one way or another, you know, like people were opening up breweries. There was a billion Instagram accounts that came out, guys just taking pictures of beer, girls, you know, titties out trying to be the beer influencer. And I was like, how do I take it one step further? Well, I can't open up a brewery. I mean, I, I would need money. I, I'd have to be the, you know, the pesky relative asking the rich people for investor money. And I probably would have done that at the time, you know, cause I'm, I'm kind of persistent. Mm -hmm. Um, and then from then he just kind of taught me how to, to brew beer. And I got lucky on my first batch. It was a really good brown ale. And I think that's a big deal. I think your first one or two batches are kind of the thing you're like whoa i i made beer right. if i made good beer what was and what was it it was like a brown ale was it like a, a extract a, kit or uh yeah there was probably about four or five extract batches and then i thought like you weren't a good brewer if you were doing extract and you, and you had to go to all grain and i just remember looking at like everybody had the home depot mash tons with you know the take the plastic off and connect the brass or the, or the stainless steel and then they would have the PVC pipe, the DIY thing. And I was like, dude, this is $250. I really don't know if I could like invest 250 bucks. I'm, you know, my, back in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to own a brewery one day, but like <laughs> this, this match does, this is going to be the deal breaker. Um, uh, and, um, I just kept rolling with it. And obviously the YouTube channel pushes some. And then I, at the time I, it was kind of like the 50, 50 battle where I wanted to get good at editing and telling stories through video as well as I wanted to get good at brewing, which is a little bit different from you because you went to college for this and you, and this is your job and you knew very well how to edit and, you know, know the creativity of when a shot is too long or when it's too short mm -hmm. and how long it should go on for. And I didn't know that. So when you first start out and you edit and you make a video, the beer was good and you're proud that you got a video out and you think it's so good. And then you look back at it, you know, a couple months later, you're just like in 
you're so embarrassed and there's so much disbelief. You're like, I thought this was good. And I put this on the internet. <laughs> right. This right. is insane. Well, I mean, homebrew for life wasn't your first channel, right? So it wasn't my first channel at all. Um, it was my, this is my third channel. And, um, I could, I could show you my first YouTube video in here and I should, I should, you just gave me an idea. I should, uh, um, just do commentary on it, but, um, yeah, that's good. So like you are all self-taught on that respect, but like, you, so you're, you're saying like you're, you had those channels and then you started home brewing and you kind of felt like you could bring them together or how did that come to be? Like how did home okay, so, come to be? So I had this one. Okay. So I got lucky. I, my first YouTube video of all time. Hold on. I'm going to try to give you another super, super chill, <laughs> super chill. I'm going to buy you another, uh, 40 ounce of Mickey's. What's up, Tony? Tony's a, a, a channel member. What's up? What's going on, man? He's got a what up, Tone? Yeah, he's Iroquois. Nice, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> Get the chain, ba chain gang going, man. I know <laughs> nobody really donates on the videos. You got to do the live stream to get the donations, but the donations could like keep your channel around. Yeah, right. Especially, especially. I mean, the donations. I think they're like the biggest ad. What if, if I'm streaming consistently? You know, it's, yeah. I get a lot of love and the members and the don donations are definitely more than the ad revenue. Right. So, yeah, yeah. um, and then when we're done with this topic, I'm going to try to peer pressure you into doing more streams. Cause I know you don't want to do one once a month, but I think you should do one <laughs> twice a month. Bye monthly. We'll see how it goes. Bye, bye, bye monthly. It's a month that likes uh, girls and guys. I'm just kidding. That was the worst joke. It's, ever it's all pinning on this, this stream. So if you ruin it this for me, stream. Yeah. nah, man, pick and choose your, <laughs> lock your shit in now man like i got wednesdays nobody fuck with that no i'm kidding <laughs> uh, you know you're not sunday night there's football monday night there's football right. tuesday cool book lock that in uh genus brewing was sunday and i was kind of made fun of him because it's the worst day ever it's like there's football church and people are hung over and you're gonna do a stream right now it's yeah just wild. yeah uh but the key to anything is just to be consistent and do it and um um I'm glad that I, I was able to do my fourth stream in a row and I'm glad that everyone was in here and, and the guests that came on, Brian, Party Time, Ali has Gnome, and Kyle from Clawhammer. Yeah. But you just gotta be consistent and stick with that. You're gonna do Thursdays, nine o'clock. Um, you're always gonna play the time zone thing, but it is cool when you get somebody in the chat and they're like, I'm from Australia or I'm from Germany and you're like, Whoa, dude, like Yeah. Is it four in the morning there? Like that this is awesome. Right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Silver Hammer <laughs> Brewing. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible joke. Idea, for sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, but I, I, it was one of those things where my going back, my first YouTube video. God, I want to try to find it. But I was trying to run a website off my own computer without paying for hosting. Mm. And all the videos. Do you remember like the, the MySQL days, like PHP and Hmm. Remember when everyone was like host gator and everyone went into a website. I was like, I want to run my computer as a host. And you can do that as long as your computer's on 24 seven, hmm. you, okay. you can have a, your website up for free. You don't have to pay like $10 a month. Oh, wow. And I figured it out and I made the video and it got, it's got like a hundred thousand views now. And I remember like, Whoa, I woke up and I got all these comments and this and that. And then you go down the game of like, well, every video goes viral and right. you know, everything's going to be like that. <laughs> and then you put out your next couple of videos. And I, it was funny because my next couple of videos were good and it was all IT. It was all it was all IT stuff because I used to be a web guy. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I was just kind of like, well, let's teach Final Cut or GoPro. And, I, and at the time member playlists were big on YouTube mm -hmm. instead of having like a one, two hour video or one forty five minute video, it would be like 30 videos that were two minutes each. Right. Yeah. And you would lock someone in like, I'll see you at the end, you know, kind of like a college class or, you know, an online yeah, treehouse or, or a, a, a lynda.com or yeah, whatever. Yeah, for sure. And then from there I was like, dude, this was rocking and rolling. And I did, um, I was doing my own taxes at the time and I was doing QuickBooks online. And I remember, I remember, um, it was making like a thousand bucks a month. You just got a big super chat, by the oh, way. Oh shit. Yeah. Take on your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tony's just dropped the super chat. Tony Weatherington. I yeah. want to hit my buttons. Come on down, Tony. <laughs> yeah. Come, on down. Come on, down. on down. We got 80 people in here right now. Wow. That's a big one. Nice. Tony. Thank you so much, man. 
Uh, is that the he, biggest donation you've ever gotten? Yeah, by far. I'll take my T-shirt off. Yeah. Actually, I won't. <laughs> Let's, he's got a question for you. Or uh, he's got a comment for you. Uh, thank you so much for introducing me into the world YouTube world of home brewers. You led me to Trent, which led me to the Apartment Brewer, as well as other YouTube channels. Uh, I became a better brewer because of homebrewing, the homebrewing YouTube community. Oh, that's so... That's so nice and so true. Cheers I feel like the to, community on YouTube. Cheers to T Dub, man. Cheers to that. T Dub. Cheers, man. Hundred percent. We're drinking for that. You got to get that NBC button, man. You got to work on that. Um, but he's got a great point. Like the community is, I think what, it's so nice. Like people are very welcoming, and I know when I got started, like the fact that you even reached out to me, I was like, I thought for sure yeah. I, people would eat me alive when I started. No, 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 no. Um, well, not only that, we'll talk about, we could talk about that in a, li in a little bit, but I was in San Diego at the time and I said, Hey, you want to uh, do a collab? And Trent just drove down, you know, put in the effort to, you know, drive three hours from, from um, Los Angeles. Um, but really quick back with the original channel. And I, I got to a point where the village park source channel was making like a thousand dollars a month off these QuickBooks tutorials. Like they were just getting views. Like I've never seen, I mm -hmm. think like, some of the videos had like half a million clicks. But what I didn't know was that, you know, homebrewing, working on cars, cooking like that. It's not it's nonlinear, right? Right. Like you could. It's good forever. If someone watches your video in 10 years from now, Trent, they could learn how to brew. Right. Right. More often than not, everything's going to be the same. You got to have stainless steel, fire, heating on it. But if you're doing software, as soon as a new version comes out, your ass is grass like it's you're you're only as good as your last joke you're only as good as your last your mo you know, the most recent photoshop or the most recent cs5 or creative suite yeah yeah so from there it was um i cared a lot about i've always cared about retro video games mm -hmm. um angry video game nerd who i've you know we've talked a little bit about him and yeah i appreciate you watching his old stuff biggest influence i've probably ever had you know outside of like your your dad or your you know right people you, teachers from growing up or coaches um and then i tried a, 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 a retro video game channel and it bombed you know i just read like one pewdiepie article this guy <laughs> makes like four billion dollars a day and i was like okay i could play video games right Minecraft. and it ain't shit but i had a lot of fun with that um i just didn't know anything about youtube i was just aimlessly putting out videos and you know obviously they're cringe and they're too long and and at that time I was doing both. It was like retro video games and beer, home brewing. And then um, I just had, you know, was, I've been doing this for a long time. And I know there's a lot of people that would probably like to have, to be in our position to have um, 50,000 subscribers or six or 40, but like you, you put in work, like you put in a lot of work to get like 50,000 in this industry. You know, like if you, yeah. how many videos do you have Trent? Like 200? Yeah, just about 200, I think. Yeah. So 200, if you were to put out 200 cooking videos or retro video game videos, you'd probably have like 200,000 subscribers or who, who knows? Right. But you would yeah, have yeah. way more than home brewing. Yeah. So um, it's a labor of love for sure. I mean, it's a labor of love. And it was cool what Brian Elementary was talking about last night. He was like, he'll always do beer, the grain of glass. Obviously, no one's ever going to quit their day job. Mm hmm. But like the self-expression is is what he loves, like this creative outlet of editing and you just throw this, you upload this video and you throw this Hail Mary and see what happens and yeah, and who it connects you with. And I, I don't think I'd have that many friends if I didn't brew beer or stay around beer. You know, I'd have, you know, the high school gang a little bit. Right. But I'm in the group text with the booze bros. I'm, you know, I'm, I work at a brewery. I know you through this. Everyone in here is obviously through home brewing. And, right. Um, I, I know I don't brew as much as I used to and this and that, but just still being around craft beer is something that Marshall from Brewlosophy actually told me. It's like, I never want to own a brewery. Mm. I never want to win a medal. I never want to turn in my homebrew beers to this thing to see if I can get a blue ribbon or you know, pat myself on the back. He's like, I just want to be around craft beer. Yeah. Yeah. But it's cool, you know? I agree. I completely I agree with that. That's Yeah. It it's more than just like uh I don't know. It's more than just a hobby. It's like a, a community, like Tony said. So hundred percent. Yeah. And real and, quick, uh, I want to give a shout out to Goose Fraba for becoming a uh channel member, man. Cheers to Shout man. out to the Goose. The Golden Cheers. Goose. Yeah. The goosiest. 
loosey goosey. So is there like, um, for your channel now, like what gets you like pumped? Like what gets you inspired to like brew something up or like what kind of uh, content are you looking to make? I think that home brewing goes hand in hand with the industry itself. And I think that craft beer is not in a good spot right now. And I think that there's a lot of, Oh, um, sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Tony just dropped a major super chat. We'll come back to your answer in a sec, but wow. Tony, thank you so much. All right. So this is for both you, Trent and CH CH. You have saved me a ton of money in the beginning of home brewing. Trent, your videos keep my passion going. CH question. Did you enjoy electric jellyfish at Pine House? And did you visit any other cities besides Austin while in Texas? Electric jellyfish is a big shout out to, uh, uh, this guy's going full blown Garrett Hunt. I know, dude. You're gonna, you're gonna make a thousand dollars tonight. <laughs> you're gonna make a thousand bucks tonight. No, I'm serious. And then YouTube's gonna take 80% of it. No, I'm kidding. I'll save half, half of that. And when I get out to uh, Knoxville, I'll take you out. If you make a thousand bucks tonight, you're buying a plane ticket to <laughs> Knoxville. Yeah, that's true. Is that a deal? That's a deal. <laughs> okay, that's a deal. So what are we at right now? Like 358? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, yeah. 360. So uh, you've had electric jellyfish? I've heard, I've had electric jellyfish. I've heard of electric jellyfish. And uh, I've heard of electric jellyfish. I, I knew about it, but people have talked about it in Knoxville. And uh, it's good to know that there's beers out there that still have a lot of value right and i think that's how you have to forge ahead in today's craft beer world it's not about having like half off night it's not about getting the college crowds in i think that you want to have that brewery that people are not afraid to spend money you know there's no coupons if it's an eight dollar beer in a 10 ounce glass i think that's i think that's the best possible thing for craft beer as opposed to like a 24 ounce mug club night double IPA for four dollars. Yeah, I th I th I think you need that electric jellyfish, and the rhymes like dimes and the peanut butter jelly. I think that you have to create value in craft beer to survive, and there's so many breweries that pop up that they're just like Tuesdays and Thursdays we're doing trivia and beers are five dollars. It's like I already don't want to go after hearing that. I right. want to find that golden goose beer. I want, I want the beers that people talk about. That's the beers I want. That's the beers that I want. Yeah, for sure. Anybody can buy the Coors Light or go down here and get the multi IPA. Us talking about electric jellyfish right now is awesome. And um, it's putting it on people's radars for sure. Yeah. That's a great beer, by the way. Big shout out to Tony weather. Yeah, man. I'm going to put that on my my Instagram story back. I'm getting half of this motherfucker. <laughs> uh, go up to your house. Just you stop answering your text. <laughs> hey, big, yeah. He's going to block me on everything. Right. Um, that was awesome, yeah, man. That's dude. the biggest super chat I've ever seen. I've seen a bunch of hundreds, man, but that's yeah, man. Tony. Big Cheers, love, man. Tony, that, man. I appreciate it. He just made that. the night. He's, uh, he's we just went from doing, we just went from doing streams once a month to doing four a day. You know, <laughs> Tomorrow kind of, we're going to be, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back. 10 a.m. 1230. <laughs> No, Tony's been a, a, a channel member for a long time, so I really appreciate all the support he's given. Tony's the man. Tony is the man. So uh, yeah. going back to what I asked you, I think I was asking you, like, what gets you excited? What kind of uh, videos or beers are you looking to make? Uh, I'm going to do the seltzer-based stuff. I think that, like we talked about earlier, homebrew is definitely in, like, an adapt or die stage. I mm -hmm. think that everyone's trying to, like, chisel out the best West Coast or chisel out the, the – um, the hazy and i think that's awesome to do as a home brewer because mm -hmm. it feels good to have that but as far as breweries doing it like i don't think that's like gonna make your thing take off i think you really have to kind of create some i don't know man like you know the belching beaver peanut butter stout or this brewery's peanut butter and jelly stout or um i don't know like the orange creamsicle stuff i think we're just kind of in like an, an adapt or die stage and um I want to get more involved in that. Um, I put a video out yesterday and it's doing really well for my channel. And I want to thank anybody who watched that video. Yeah. And I miss that feeling, you know, like everyone gets paid and get two paychecks a month, but like putting up a video and you're like, damn, like 6,000 people watch this and they watched like 
six and a half minutes of it. They wasted six and a half minutes of their life watching my dumb ass be a fucking idiot on the internet. <laughs> this is awesome. This is really cool. Yeah. And th that's, that's a really good feeling. It's a really good feeling. And, and, um, there's a lot of love, you know, and yeah. I've always said like, we could start a channel. We talk about politics or we could talk about sports or this and that. And you can upload like three or four videos a day, but like, I don't think there's as much love in that, you know, like, Hey, we're going to talk about the, the Dallas Cowboys lost. And then this guy bragged about how they would win. And the next day we're all going to make fun of him. It's like, I don't know. I think like anybody can kind of do that, you know? So, yeah. Um, it just feels good to do a beer related video, especially green glass, especially when something turns out really good. And I just missed that feeling again. And, um, I, I want to do 30 videos this year nice real videos like i want to <coughs> buy all the short rib and knock i'm just kidding um <laughs> you know like yeah. just mix it up i think you got to kind of mix it up and not go crazy and realistically like i don't know how you know uh the homebrew challenge you know was doing oh my gosh what did he do like 200 grain of glass videos 99 right 99 beer styles <laughs> let alone all the stuff he's doing with brewlosophy. Yeah. But I think you got to mix it up to just kind of not go crazy. And yeah. um, whether, whether, whatever that is, you know, like we're doing a video on Monday. So Saturday I'm brewing, you know, mm -hmm. and then we're doing, we're, you know, check out both of our channels. We're doing the peanut butter and jelly beer. And yeah. I'll send you some B-roll of people waiting in lines and, you know, in the cold. And Yeah, wait, let's owner. talk about that real quick. The, the, the beer, like. Do you think that's yeah. kind of like the future? So the beer is like a peanut butter and jelly sour, but it doesn't say that it's a, it's not really a beer, right? It's like a seltzer. Well, you could play the beer card, right? You could, what makes a beer a beer? It's hops. It's not grain. So if you wanted to legally call a beer a beer, all you have to do is put one hop in there. Like we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. Right. Whether you call it gluten-free sour or gluten-free seltzer or, or, or a hard seltzer. There's no legal ramifications with that. There is le legal ramifications if you want to say this Kentucky bourbon is from bourbon or this Cabernet Sauvignon is from Napa Valley. You have to have right. a certain amount be produced. So as far as whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. All, all you have to do is create value. And I'm going to say this in the video and I sent the beer to you and I sent the beer to a lot of people in San Diego and they're like, is it a sour? Is it a lager? Is it a beer? Like, it doesn't matter. It's a peanut butter and jelly social sparkler that has an insane amount of value. Right. That's what it's called in, in my vocabulary. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, the fact that like, it's like peanut butter and jelly is like the biggest text and that's yes. what it tastes like. Yeah. It gives you like a sense of everything you need to know. Like, but I've never seen it like something just labeled like sour, but then it doesn't say like you have to like kind of dig for info to find out like what it is. Not only that, but you could put sour on anything. There's no like the ATF's not going to kick your door down if you have like a 3.9 pH thing, you know, right. like it's, yeah, there's nothing true. that says like, hey, we have to hit a pH of 3.4 to call it sour. That's true. And sour yeah. is... Um, it's a marketing tool at, at an extent, right? Yeah, I love right. sours. I see sours on the menu. I, you know, I flock to it like a, like a, like a moth. Yeah. And there's, you, but, we're in, the, I don't know if we're in the stage of like coming up with new styles or just coming up with like new terminology, right? You yeah. know, like just call it something else. And all of a sudden and it's, you know, a, yeah. a thing. So. It's, it's interesting. Cause like, I think a lot of times we say like, we look to, um, the pro brewer world, right? To get ideas. But I feel like a lot of times they are looking to home brewers. It's kind of like a, and I said this on a, a, another live stream recently, it's like a dog chasing its tail. It, Cause it seems like the peanut butter sour, peanut butter jelly sour, that seems like something like a home brewer would come up with, you know? So it's, it's like, and then you start thinking about that and you're like, okay, so what is the next big thing that I can come up with? And like, what would, what would that be? What would be the next thing? The next thing is, well, and we, you know, we talk about this with Brian's video elementary when he was doing the French toast IPA. And I was like, I think you need to knock the IPA part out of it. Do a base, you know, I, I always call it a, a cheese pizza when you're just doing like a base beer, when you're just doing two row or nothing but pills in. Uh, and then kind of focus on that. But I think the next, the beers that are going to be popping out 
are the beers that are going to be tasting like little kids cereals and and, and uh, ice creams and stuff like that. And when you say something like that, be like, hey, try this new um, whatever, Rocky Road Sour. Sour. <laughs> People are in their mind, they're like, that's disgusting. Right. Like peanut butter and jelly, that's a peanut butter, Reese, like that's disgusting. And then when you try it, and it tastes exactly like that. What do you do? You tell everybody you know about it. You, you tell every single person. Yeah. And um, when you can sell a beer to girls and they like something, it's on. Right. Because if they like it, the guys like it. And if the girls go to the brewery, they'll always be the guys that follow. You know, and there's when you go to a brewery, and you look around at the tables and you see like four tables of all girls. You're like, this place is buku bucks. They're going to be around. I, and I think there's like a fatigue on like IPAs. I feel like people are looking for something different. Dude, I haven't ordered a West Coast IPA in a long time. And I know they're not dead. And obviously, you know, Burial, their, their West Coast IPA surf wax is the most popular beer in that state. But like, I don't order that many IPAs anymore. Yeah. Same. West Coast, West Coast. Yeah, I feel like I'm. I go towards like Pilsner or like a lager of some kind, which is like rare to find a good one. But yeah, what, what is like here? Like if you see of any of those ninety nine beer styles that uh, Martin brews, like if you see one on there and it's on like the menu of your favorite place or like a place you walk into, like what is that beer that you're going for every time? I don't know a Flanders. You know, I mean, there's back in the day there, like we talked about, there were so many different styles of of sour barrel age there was flanders there was you know farm you know nowadays you just call it sour but i remember 10 years ago like flanders was on menus flanders was a thing you yeah. know like a super red um sour and then remember um remember that uh what was that french company that bottled their beer they had the lambics they were raspberry oh. look La not lacroix how's it almost said lacroix <laughs> um uh, I don't know. That was in circulation back in the San Diego days. And they were, I think individual sale, they were like seven or eight bucks, which was, um, which was a lot, right? Yeah. Is it like a Lindemann's or something like that? No, it was definitely in glass bottle. Okay. It was always raspberry. Yeah. Uh, someone, Jamie, pull that up. So, um, <laughs> right. Someone in the chat will get it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of someone in the chat getting it last night, I want to give a shout out to uh, Hobson Gnarly. DuPonts. Is DuPont? that ringing a bell? Uh, isn't that a Saison? I think Fernando, it was definitely French, yeah. And they were making money. They were definitely making money in San Diego. Yeah, okay. That's a good question. But uh, Hops and Gnarly, when we were talking about, you know, like the evolution of like really good sought after beers, you know, like Pliny the Elder when it was people were lining up down the streets and that was just for draft sales. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a time like, Oh, this, this local pizza shop has a keg. And all of a sudden there'd be like a hundred people outside. And yeah. then I remember the Firestone, that was the central coast. They would do their, their anniversary stuff, the barrel age stuff. But before that it was the, the stone beers when they would have those big magnums. Yeah. Right. And they would have the locks on them, like the little, the, the little, cage? Di the little diary lock on it oh yeah wow. so shout out so and i've talked about that people are like i don't remember that this and that i'm like dude i you're gonna remember something like that like a beer with like a a lock and a key to it and uh um hops and Arlie came through last night yeah oh, so we've nice. got some good yeah so we've got a lot Lindemans. of answers i'm gonna look this up really quick lindemans raspberry land that's the one i always see it's like a framboise or whatever, Lindemans. Ooh. They have it at like um, freaking uh, World Market all the time. They also have like random Belgian beers there too, which is kind of cool to see. Was it this? Real quick, just quick shout out to Blackwood Brews and Sparger for becoming channel members, man. Cheers. Coming through, baby. Coming through. Are you going to do another stream? Can you do it bi-monthly? <laughs> I don't know. So far, we're going pretty good. Yeah. Um... I got a question from Tony. This is a really good question. Yeah, take it. CH, I noticed you don't do mandatory beer chugs in your new videos. Why has that changed? I miss those mandatory beer chugs. I would literally scream at the guys while chugging Miller Lite. Appreciate that. <laughs> Big tone. Always showing love. Um, keeping keeping the vibe alive. Literally, like, putting food on the table. 
Yeah. No no one's eating dino nuggets tomorrow. (laughs) Um, It worked for the community. It worked for the community. Like if I uploaded it and the people that were really interested in watching the videos, it, it would work for about a week. But for the unique visitor, for the person that found my channel on the search results, they were not into it at all. And I would see these big dips in my videos and that is not good for your, your, for your average viewer. That's not good for the algorithm. So right. what I can do is I can edit that, you know, I, and, and I do want to do this. My next grain of glass video, I'm going to put in a mandatory beer chug and I, I want it to be like fucking 40 minutes long, but, um, set it up where after two weeks you can go into YouTube Trent, you know, like it's got the little scissor editor tool and you can take it out. Right. So is that smart? That's a very interesting idea. I never thought about that. Yeah. I thought about that. Yeah. Yeah. Just set it up. We're like, Hey, now it's time for, and just take that all out. Like the whole. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's kind of smart. Thought about that a little bit and um, it'll be back. Yeah. It'll be back. Yeah, and, I can uh, see how that could be like, you know, especially if it goes on like a, for a couple. <laughs> Some of them were getting kind of long, the NBCs. They were, <laughs> yeah. That, those were, uh, I spent so much time trying to edit those and yeah. watch videos of people. They are fun, though. I love seeing it on the live stream. I think that's a good, like, uh, I got to go to the bathroom real quick. Let me NBC it. <laughs> yeah. And if someone throws, you know, 20 bucks or 50 bucks or 100 bucks, like, we're NBCing. Like, you, you believe that you know yeah right yeah um i'm almost up for round two okay i'm gonna drink four beers tonight cool and by four i mean four four packs uh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> can you hold it down yeah i can hold it down for sure all right bear back nobody leave there's 80 people leave there's 80 people here right all right, now. All right. well I'll, 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 j- I'll jump over to the chat see what's going on we're gonna do we're if you guys when i come back okay. i'll let you all up if you go <laughs> okay be sure to let me know if you have questions, guys. I have some pretty funny ones from like uh, I put a Instagram post out to see like if anybody had any questions. Let's see. Let's see what the uh, what we got here. This is from Trev Hill. Why does he not trim his upper lip? <laughs> um, no, there's a good one here. Uh, this is from Alias, which is a he's a pretty uh, frequent uh, person on his channel. And it says, how's the penis reduction surgery going? <laughs> That's great. Um, but there's a really good one here about his merch. I'll ask it when he gets back. But um, uh, someone asked, what does Braj, Bra- Bomb Brew asked, what does Braj really mean? Asking for a friend. So maybe we can find out the answer to those questions. But what I want to know from you guys is, what are you guys brewing next? Uh, what do you got going up, coming up? Are you fermenting anything? Are you, if you're doing dry January, are you fermenting anything non-beer related? Because I got lots of videos on that stuff. But uh, as CH alluded to, I am doing the peanut butter and jelly sour. And we're kind of taking different spins on it. He's doing a very true to the brewery recipe. And I'm going to do like more of a beer spin on it. So using actual grain. Whereas I'm pretty sure the real recipe doesn't use real grain. So... We'll see how that goes, but I just kegged it up, um, and I'm stoked about that. And then I have some things coming for February as well. I got I'm gonna do a Valentine's Day uh, beer, and um, yeah, I don't know. I got I got a lot of non-beer ferments too, uh, things like Kvass and other things like that. So uh, Blackwood says uh, Mexican Lager with Neo One hops. What are Neo One? I haven't had those. Let me know what kind of flavor the Neo One hops are. Anchor Steam Clone, nice. California Common. That's a good one, especially since they're leaving. Grape Hazy. Silver Hammer says Grape Hazy. You'll have to let me know what that means, but is it like half grape juice, half hazy IPA? Um, Let's see. Michael says, brewing my first hazy, hazy IPA. Sweet, man. Oh, he's got the PB Fit. He's got it ready. Yeah, I went for a PB2, which is like the same thing, but. Is this the knockoff? Is this the uh, is this the uh, boycotted uh, cereal that's in the big bag and not the cool shit? No, I have no idea. I've used both of them, but what what is like in it? What is the ingredients? It's supposed there? to be roast. Can you guys hear me? Yep. 
Okay, cool. It's supposed to be roasted peanuts, PB fit, peanut butter power, uh, powder, all natural, gluten-free, plant-based protein. Um, okay. In, uh, ingredients, peanut flour, coconut, palm, sugar, and salt. Okay. Does, okay. How well does this stuff dissolve? Not the, not really well. So I, not really well. So how do we go from there? What if you boil the shit out of it? So I ended up, well, I've done it. I use it a couple of times now and I usually throw it at the end of the boil. Okay, sweet. You're using grape concentrate. I didn't say I didn't use grape juice. I thought about bucks. It. It's tough to get grapes, yeah. a hard thing to get, um, on the PB stuff. So I throw it at the end of the boil, like while it's still warm and I'm definitely got a whisk there and I'm whisking it up. Okay. But it, it kind of like makes these little like fine balls of peanut butter and okay. they, they'll clump together a little bit, but everything just kind of falls to the bottom, especially like in the fermenter, it'll just all That's, fall to the bo bottom. But that, it, it adds. I'm not great worried flavor. about that. Like if you still get all the flavor from swirling it and, you know, cooking it with, you know, liquid, you're still going to get a lot of that flavor. Yeah. 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 I, the, I have the one I have on tap and it's like very peanut forward. I use like two smaller bottles. So I think you'll get okay. A good amount out of it two smaller bottles but what's your, what's your total like is it 32 ounces like what's the total so i use quantity? i think i use 12 ounces of the pb2 in a three gallon batch okay so, and i used when i made wait, 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 i'm sorry i wasn't listening at all say that again <laughs> i used uh like 12 ounces of the pb fit in a three gallon batch okay and when I made the peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter porter for the channel and I used PB Fit, I used that whole thing, the big one. Okay. And it tasted. I got 30 ounces for a five gallon, so it's similar, but not yeah. too crazy. I think it's plenty. I think it's good. It, it doesn't, what I notice is like you get a really strong peanut butter flavor for like a couple weeks, but it starts to fade after a while. So we got to it. Drink does it does go away. Yeah. I have heard that. Yeah. So how do you, how do you, like, how do you, keep that going if you have your beer in circulation what do you do you got to break up the peanuts even more you got to break up the pb2 even i guess so yeah yeah i don't know uh but mine is just lacking the fruit i put in like three pounds of uh fruit into it mixed berries and i need to add more or maybe i just add grape juice or you could add grape juice i would do a grape juice concentrate um, the grape juice is going to have a lot of water in it. It's going to water it down. Yeah. It's going to fuck your APV up. It's going to throw a lot of stuff off. Right. Yeah. So we'll see. I think mine's going to be very different from like the, the bottom, the can that you sent me, but I think it'll still be good. You still have one can. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saving it. Okay, cool. For like when we, we drink it together. Yeah. And I, you know, I send it to my buddies at breweries and, um, um, they rip on me now. They're like, oh, see, it's just going to work at Zool. And I only work at Zool two, one or two days a week. And uh, go sell your uh, your uh, your hard seltzers. I'm like, I know you motherfuckers are brewing this shit in the back. You know, you guys have all this stuff in your pilot systems. You're you're out there like the Keebler elves trying to churn the next thing out. As right. they should be. As they should be. You know, and beer got to this thing where it's kind of like a stand-up comedy joke. You know, your, yeah. your beer is only as, is only as good as is only as relevant as like your last batch, you know, like yeah, shit's moving, shit's changing. Um, yeah. people are asking I, where you got that grape concentrate from. I luckily I got it. Cause I was always a big organ guy, the organ mm. brand. It mm. was always the best puree in my, in my opinion, it was, mm. it, it was the best and it was the most accessible. Like you could buy it on Amazon. You could buy it at your local homebrew store. And I asked them about it and they don't, What's up with black currants? What is black currants? It's like an English uh, berry. Has anyone ever had a fucking I've had currant a, fruit? I've had. I actually have. When I went to like uh, when I went to the UK, it was like pretty prominent. Okay, and it tastes like it's grape. A, it's kind of like a blueberry, I would say. Like, a, have you ever had like acai? It's kind of like a more tart okay. berry flavor. Because they do a lot of that, or the recipes I was looking up online were calling for the black currant. I was like, well, it's, it's a peanut butter and jelly. What's jelly come from? It comes from grapes, Concord grapes. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about it. I was like, I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot, right? Like it, it, if it was strawberries or if it was a mix or if it was acai or if it was this and that, as long as it's like 
kind of tastes like that. And then you mix with the beer and the alcohol. I think like you're going to be fine in this whole medley, this whole concoction. Yeah. But they had it at the store today. Went to the local homebrew store. I love these guys to death. And they do watch the channel. They get so stoked when I come in there and I Sweet. call them. This. What's the name? I call it uh, Ferment, Ferment Station off Kingston Pike. Sweet. Yeah. Shout, out to, shout out to Ferment Station. Nice. And I, and I go in and I call them this morning. I say, hey, do you have Kavai liquid? And I, yeah, we have it. And do you have a proper seltzer and dry or liquid form? I'm like, no, we don't have it. And I think it's just DAP. I think, I think that the, the proper seltzer, yeast nutrient, is just a shitload of uh, nitrogen. And um, I showed up and they're like, it was you. Like, why didn't you tell us? Like, we would have done this and that. And uh, they said they had a really rough week. They uh, uh, shut down for the snow. So they're, right. you know, the homebrew stores are already kind of on, you know. Yeah, it's, it's got to be tough. Are they like trying to adapt in any way like, as far as like shipping and stuff like that? Or They're banking on my ass and your ass putting out <laughs> content so people fire up the band, dude. Hey, dude but, if they um, want to sponsor a video, tell them to give me a it, it, Yeah, and it was – I don't even think I don't even think that money from that. <laughs> but I would, I would love to uh, uh, just include them on some shine. And I'll, I need to go back and buy a, a, the smallest CO2 tank. I just want to buy a little – what's the smallest one out there? Like two, two and a half pounds, two, two pounds? Uh, I think you can, yeah, uh, yeah. There's smaller. Some, there's one smaller than I have five, a five and a ten, but I'm sure they're smaller. Yeah. Well, you can get like the little Soda Stream ones. There's the weird ones that are so small you can't even stand them up. They just kind of like roll around. <laughs> they're like a, they're like a, like a little baby's head or something. You can't just you know prop it up. Um, I think that might be a two. That'd be funny, man. Like an emergency uh, yeah. CO two replacement. You have like your your BB gun thing where you just like put on that little airsoft thing. Yeah, and that could probably get you through a keg. Maybe, no. yeah, yeah. Maybe like it depends on the half a keg. No, because those would work. Remember, like the two hundred dollar growlers that were ridiculous. Yeah, I have like three the of little, them. Yeah, and they would put the little <laughs> yes. thing on it. I was like, you might be good for a gallon. Yeah, Five it gets, gallons, actually, yeah, you're right. You get the one I of those little things gets you through a gallon. So you're right. We might be playing with some fire. Yeah. Um, so to answer the question from uh, uh, Breaking Bad, Brewing Bad, I'm sorry, I just bought it from them and I, I just felt good and spent, you know, 70 bucks or 100 bucks there today. And it, you just feel good spending money at local homebrew places. Yeah, for sure. I do. Yeah, no, I agree. Actually, I just yeah. bought a bunch of stuff um, from a local spot to do. Uh, I'm changing all the gas lines to d duo type. Because I did all the beverage lines to duo tight, so now I'm doing everything, all the gas stuff. So okay, we'll see. I don't know. I like the duo tight; it makes it easy to change things out. Have you messed with that at all? No, not yet. And you're spending money at uh, Carlsbad Brew Supply. Yeah. How's how's what's going on in San Diego for the the local homebrew stores, man? That 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 one and um, what's uh, Ballast Points got one right? Homebrew. Yeah, but that's Point Loma. Yeah. You're an hour away from that. Yeah, yeah. Those are the only two I know. They're, I try to support them when I can, you know, because it's like when you're in Always. a pinch, you know, Always. it's nice to have them there. I ran into um, uh, somebody that watched the channel. Yeah, Juvenal Hernandez. Which Juvenal's was cool. the barrage. It was cool. It was really, really cool. Oh, speaking of running into people, are you going to go to uh, HomebrewCon? Or go I'm going to go to JBF. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Because they're com I can combining Sorry, them. They're combining them this year. They're going to both be in Denver. Yeah. I mean, GABF is always in Denver. Yeah. 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 So they're bringing homebrew con to that. It'll be interesting cool. to see. You're going to get out there. I think so. Yeah. Create a poll for that, man. And what yeah. happened to the dry January poll? Can we go back to that? Yeah. 83% of people are not doing dry January. Dude, dry January. Like it's good to do, but it also fucks up like so many people's livelihoods and yeah. I mean, I mean live your life. You know, it's, I get it. You know, some people, have to get sober or want to lose weight and this and that, but like it just destroys establishments. And, um, I yeah, don't know, man. I mean, I get like people just need, need to reset, you know, I get it totally. People need to reset. Yeah. Oh, uh, Tony's Tony got Weather, a question for you. Yeah. Me and Josh Wiseman, we're doing another <laughs> collab. We're doing another gorilla collab. Yeah. Kyla Clymer also made this one still waiting for trends. <clears throat> Has anyone tried to contact Josh Wiseman or do a homebrew video with him? Well, he's probably a millionaire and impossible to get a hold of. And he probably doesn't know who any of us are, as he should. Have. I'm sure he, he's busier than shit. Um, 
but I've talked to some barbecue guys. I believe all of was one of them. <clears throat> and the guy just cranks out content. You know, the guy is, um, he's a YouTuber. If you don't know what you're talking about, find someone who does and yeah, I mean, pay them $200 and, and it, learn it just, how to do something really fast and try to act like you're an expert on it. I think the issue is that he starts his video like, I don't really like beer, you know? It's like, then why are you oh, yeah. showing us how to make beer? <laughs> yeah. I So I said that. I think at the end of the video, I was like, like homebrewers are pretty proud people, you know? And I'm, I'm not a barbecue guy. I would love to get into that. But I could imagine like spending six hours to cook meat slow is, and, and it turns out good. It's a great feeling. Beer is like two weeks, right? And when it tastes good and, and, you know, I was talking to the owner of Zool the other day, the, the, the head brewer. And it was like, dude, the best feeling of all time, bro, is, um, when you brew, whatever your hazy IPA, your dark lager, your Pilsner, and then you go into a place and you try a beer. And even when it's an expensive place and it's eight bucks or nine bucks and you know that yours is better, that's the best feeling of, of being a home brewer in my opinion. Yeah. Like this guy sells it. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to talk about it. You just know. You're like, mine is at least one notch above this, you know? Yeah. And it's right. it's subjective, you know. Like I brew sours that are very sour and they could be too sour for some people. But for me, you know, like there it is. There it is. We're going the ahead. golden goose. The golden goose fraba. Um, so to say like I don't even like beer, this and that, I was like, I, you came on after that. I was like, dude, there's like 12 things in this video. This is like a highlights magazine that, that, that I could tell that this guy's brewed for the first time. Yeah. He makes yeah. some good stuff though. I, I, he was like an inspiration for me when I got started. Like he can kiss my ass. I, 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 that one video I don't agree with, but he like, does a lot of other, at least he used to do a lot of other fermentation stuff that I thought. Most no, I'm just being a hater right now. And the guy's <laughs> obviously wildly successful and I, I do respect the grind. Um, I just think he looks way too fucking much like Jeremy Piven from old school. <laughs> hey guys. Hey, today we're going to yeah, you know, right. snarky and, um, and I have thought about doing a video on it and I think I can nail it, but I would have to shave my beard and then grow the little bullshit ponytail. Yeah. Like you know, open he, up the cupboard. Like, hey, today we're going to like make tuna casserole. You right, I hate tuna right. casserole. Hey, fuck you. Hey, but like everyone said, don't do that, but we're going to do that. Like, down, down, yeah. You know, like, I think I could hit, I think I can nail it. Yeah. You know, you know what your uh, mustache is giving me right now? Like, if you just shaved like the Nightmares. beard part or like, um, uh, there will be blood, uh, Daniel Day Lewis. Like, mm. I'm an old man myself. I don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like most people. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great movie. That's yeah. uh saw that one in the theater. Um, I know a lot about that movie. That was a yeah. uh, great director. That was the guy that did Boogie Nights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was that the guy that did fight? It was Boogie Nights. PT Anderson. And that, yeah. Yeah. And then the guy that did the score for that was um, not the lead singer of Radiohead, but the lead guitarist. Okay. Yeah. And that, that movie's a trip. And the thing about Trent and I is we know movies, um, very well we know music when it came out you know i think we're both very inspired by this, these type of things you went to college for this i mean this is kind of your world and um uh i, I think we'll always you know kind of have that bond or that uh, that mutual appreciation for mm -hmm. you know we um steven spielberg did jaws in 1975 and the, that year it came out and the guy was 30 years old and the difficulties of that like you know that i know that mm -hmm. you know just really wild shit in american cinema <laughs> um no i'm serious no like, i agree i agree no so for you to know the director's name I, you know i knew i knew his name but i do get him confused with david fincher yeah another great director another great director um and it's just something I, I think this could be a whole other podcast where we yeah, yeah. talk about shit forever for what's, hours. You know? What's the best uh, beer related Goose, movie? Shout out to Goose Brava. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I drink your... What was the... There was the two brothers in that movie. It was obviously both played by um, the Riddler. What's oh, yeah, name? yeah, yeah. Duh. What's his name? God. Not Theo Vaughn. The other guy. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. From Little Miss Paul Sunshine. Dano, yeah. yeah Paul Dano. Uh, same without a fucking letters and their first and last yeah. name. Same shit. Um, Best beer movie. That's a good... Not only is that a great question, but that could be a great video. Obviously, yeah. Will Ferrell's in the conversation. And this is like a... Like, you know, you watch the watch Mojo top tens with like best thing of all time, best thing of all time. And I look at that and I'm like, you're just cranking out too much content too. That's yeah. clearly not the best. Like that right. was clearly not <laughs> number one. I think I could do a much better job did than you, this. By the way, sorry. Did you see I was in a watch Mojo video recently? You were? Yeah. They took like uh, some of my ginger beer video footage. That is that your video? Is that your <laughs> highest viewed video? It is. But they, uh, it was all about Hell like yeah. unhealthy drinks. And uh, they they took my footage and used it in it. <laughs> Did you get uh, your lawyer involved? <laughs> no. At least they credited me, but I was like, damn, I made it to a watch mojo list. I guess I can retire. Is that all you have to do? <laughs> or just put the usernames in the bottom left in size four font right. and just be like, this is how we're getting away with shit nowadays. Right. <laughs> Nick Smith, big shout out to Nick Smith. He's coming out to Knoxville. Uh, March after I after we're done with um, sober February. Aside from February seventh, when you know we we put our peanut butter and jelly out there, but I'm stoked. We're gonna do um, we're gonna do um, Knoxville and Asheville on the same weekend. Sweet. We're gonna rent a car and head out there. Yeah, nice. Bruce Show puts you know six hundred and forty two more dollars together. We might we might be seeing you out there, Brosh. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, yeah, Beer Fest was a good one for sure. Beer Fest, Strange Brew. by far, is, I mean, that it's in there. Frank the Tank, old school. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Chevy Chase having a beer with his son, the first beer when his kid NBC's the whole thing. Good, good, <laughs> good talk, Russ. <Yeah. laughs> Russ, come here. I remember my dad shared a beer with me. Kid just chugs the whole thing, <laughs> gives it back to Chevy Chase. That would be a great trivia question. Yeah. What beer was that? Was that a Miller Lite? Was that a Hams? Was that an Olympia? That is extreme, like that, niche that's a, trivia. <laughs> that would be like for the million dollars on who wants to. That would, yeah, that's definitely yeah. not a a universal thing, right? Um, there's got to be some beer chugging and entourage. There's oh, like yeah, eight right. seasons of that for yeah. sure. Christopher Vodka, much love, Braj. I hope Christopher Vodka and um, Elementary team up and and put some um, some oh, graphics I, together. I heard yeah, about that. yeah, a little yeah. rebrand. That'd be sweet. Wants to, wants to do a little bit. Wants to yeah. do a little bit. That's cool. I did some minor rebranding recently, just changing some images Dude, you, and stuff. You got a good little thing going right now. You we're at eighty eight people on my end. We're chilling. Is anybody from Knoxville watching this? I put this on my uh, chat. Speaking of They're which, not I was only going to go an hour tonight, but you you were down to chill for at least until you can't, I, you until can't I finish just do this an beer. hour. You can't just. Are we up to an hour? Has it been an hour? Mm-hmm. Where's it say an hour? The fastest hour. We started at six. Eight, what six Pacific? It's ten o'clock, man. We're going for three more hours. Um, what was the last poll you put up, Raj? It was uh, you going to Homebrew Con, and it was eighty-two percent no. Yeah. If you are going though, let me know. Hit me up. Is it September? It is in October, I think. It's late. It's yeah, it cools is late. Down. It's probably good for Denver though, in between the highs and the lows. I mean, I I don't really know how hot Denver gets, but I know it gets cold. I mean, I get it. Like, it, it is not a cheap conference to go to, and no. hopefully, like they combine. Like, you pay for one, you get into both, or something like that. Not like double right. the price or something. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got the homies letting us know. Hey, Brady Grooms, Knoxville, born and raised, Dan. Born and raised. Shout out to uh, the Rocky Top Barrage. Nice. Brewing yeah. bad Nashville. He's three hours away. Oh, we got some from Hell Australia. Yeah. We got a homie from Australia, KTS Bruce. I think I follow him on uh, Instagram. Check him Same. out. He's got a cool, Yeah, let us know where everybody's a, from. He's got a killer system. Oh, really? Sweet. Beer Quaz will never let us know where he's from. He's Beer the Quaz. secret agent, man. I think Atomic Hops Brewing, man. Much love, dude. We got Vegas in the house. Cheers, you, Barrage. Sweet. Yeah, one beer black was says I want to go, but it's the same weekend of my wife's birthday. Yeah, you know that's let me tough. Put this, let me put I feel this like there's always here. like events on my anniversary, which is like uh, uh, Memorial Day, so that makes it tough. True. 
Can I do it this way? Are we still good to go? I'm going to try to get a little bit more engaging. Okay. Because I'm looking <laughs> at the chat. Well, I'm going to put it all on the same screen. So now I could actually look at this if this does anything. Chris, Chris Vodka says, I'll hunt you down at Homebrew Con. I plan on it. It's driving distance for me here in Nebraska. That sounds like vaguely like threatening, but. Yeah, triple dog dare. <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> We got uh, all yours. Kazakhstan in the house. Very nice. nice. We got Boo, North Carolina. Hell yeah. Nice. I love North Carolina. I got Yeah, I got family in North Carolina. I'm going to rage move there in a year. Illinois. Nice. Canada. Sweet. I haven't been to Canada, man. I got to get up to Canada. I've only been like to... Um, actually, I've been to a couple. I've been to Manitowoc, which is a trip. Um. All right. I, I have a question for you, though. Yeah, what's up? This was submitted by somebody on Instagram, actually. Cool. And it was, it's more of a, a demand, I guess, than a question. But it's like, they want you to make um, merch where it's like a picture of your vest. You basically like take a picture of your vest and put it on a shirt. Man, I don't, I'm not worthy of wearing the barrage vest anymore, man. Mm -hmm. I got to be brewing again and putting out, you know, two, three videos a month and hanging out with Maury. It's a, it's a state of mind though, right? I understand what you're saying. It's like when people buy the, the animal shirts, you know, it's like a coyote or a, you know, a wolf yelling at the, yelling at the moon. Like you become the coyote, you know, Hey, your Whoa. boy just came in hot, man. Tony, your, man, your, your boy's going Garrett Hunt all up in this motherfucker. Let's <laughs> make some noise. <laughs> Let's make a little noise for a uh, T dub. Wow. Should I start taking layers off every time? Yes. God damn it. Wow. Yes. Tony, man, thank you. So Tony says, trying to get you to, guys to 1K. YouTube won't let me do more than 500 per day. So this is the last I can give you. Much love yeah. to you guys. All I can ask, can you guys do one mandatory beer chug before the stream ends? I will do a mandatory beer chug, but here's the deal. The <laughs> Bruce Show. Hey, dude, you know what you have to do? And you have to do this. What's that? There's, you have to come out to Knoxville or Asheville uh march 7th 8th or 9th but you're on your own kind of <laughs> i'll talk to kyle about it he could stay at he you could stay at his place and then me <laughs> and Nick and know him. yeah i'm He's the gatekeeper there. yeah i can yeah. deal with all that shit. i'm looking at the calendar right now wow um damn thank you but tony. you wow tony man you're the barrage yeah. um that was wild <laughs> for real uh that might so be what's your favorite record. beer no i'm joking <laughs> what's my favorite <laughs> no uh it's the one you drink with me in in Asheville. yeah right realistically though could you come out the first week of march even if it's a solo yolo trip or if you want to bring your wife uh, i don't know i'd have to no check I, 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 no. I got i got um i'm kidding you can bring your dog i got a wedding around there too i have to see well let's see I'll, I'll let you know i'll talk to you We'll talk about this after yeah, yeah. that, yeah. But me and Nick and me and Noah, we're going to get a little loosey-goosey out there. And um, I think the new rule is that if you go to Nash, you go to Knoxville, you have to go to Asheville. That's it. That's what I would want to do because I've never been to Asheville. And I've never been to Knoxville either, actually. But I've it's uh, great things. Knoxville's – I love Knoxville. I, I, I personally I, – I love this town. It's, it's enough. It's kind of a little bit small. And I understand that people that like the, you know, like Ali Oz, he's got a lot going on and this and that. There's no, um, I don't know, like speedways or go-karts or skydiving or, you know, this and that, like how there was in San Diego. But you, for what I need, there's, you know, great restaurants. The beer scene is on the up, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, I don't know if, how many people in here watch my videos, but I'm always talking no. about it. And I truly believe in this, that crap beer um is at a different speed it's it's in a different gear from city to city from place to place and this isn't a really good one i don't really know like if you open up a brewery in Asheville at this point like maybe probably not like it, there's kind of a lot you know mm -hmm. like you might want to go to chattanooga or maybe johnson city or or uh Maybe just a small, I don't know, Matt. I, I, I don't know. But Knoxville right. is definitely on the up. So it's definitely worth checking out in that regard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you ever, like, in, I'm saying. Get like, out of here, Alias. <laughs> Alias is leaving. 
No, no, no. We, we got to go to uh, him and Gnome have never been to Asheville. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah. Um, uh, would you ever open a brewery of any kind? Dude, I. We talked about this last night. Um, my dream was to open up a brewery 10 years ago. Mm hmm. And it was going to be in San Diego and it, it would have been a nightmare. I would have done, I would have been exactly like the, the bear roots owner. I don't, I don't give a fuck if I'm throwing him under the bus. Yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, run a tight ship and you're sober. And then when you're drunk, you're giving free beers away and you're letting people drink for free. And there's people, you know, I, I would have had something like that. I don't, um, if it would have ever happened, if it would have ever even, you know, came into fruition financially and this and that. Um, yeah. What I want to do now is I want to focus on being like the biggest Anthony Bourdain poser of all time. <laughs> yeah. Parts unknown. Yeah. Private part. I'm private parts unknown. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bad joke number two. <laughs> Northwest, baby. Northwest. Always showing love, man. So glad he's here. So glad he's always here, mm -hmm. man. Got beer quads in Northwest with back-to-back -back comments. Yeah, uh, I would. I, I love. I love what Emmett said to me the last time he was on. He was like, "I've never learned shit from your videos. I'm never going to learn shit from your videos. Just keep making <laughs> YouTube." I, he's, no, he's like, "I've never learned anything about beer from your videos, but just keep making videos." And I was like, "Okay, yeah, uh, yeah." Hey, big shout out to Trev who right now, man. South O Trev yeah. out there in uh, Australia taking care of some family. Had a good talk with him last night. He's got to come out. The last couple of times I've been to San Diego, I've actually missed him. Good barrage right there, though. And, you know, you guys have done your collabs at South O. Wish him yeah. well. Wish his family well. Yeah. Um, but to answer your question, though, as far as owning a piece of a brewery, I don't trust myself. I, I wouldn't want to do it. Even, even yeah. if I was a silent in, investor, I think it's I'd a just big get risk. too. Um, I would much rather grow my YouTube channel, you know, and um, the good thing about your YouTube channel is like you, you, you create your own little world and it's just you, For sure. right? There's yeah. no boss. There's no employees. There's no customers. There's just fucking trolls. And I'd love, and I can deal with that, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. People tell me I sound like a retarded Nicolas Cage every other, uh, Monday and Friday. That's Is that fine. like the most common comment you get? Or like, what's the most, I get, I get Nicolas Cage once a week. Really? Oh yeah. Different variations. Down syndrome. Is he your dad? Um, special needs, Nicolas Cage. And I, I will never understand it. I don't think I sound like that at all. I just don't. Yeah. And, I, don't, uh, I don't hear it. I feel like, yeah. I mean, but people they just say the dumbest thing sometimes. Yeah, but when it's like a thousand of the same people, it starts to drive you crazy. You're like, I, you know, I put on Con Air the other night, and I was like, I just don't <laughs> looking for the clues. Yeah, I even like put on the wife beater and like put my hair out, and yeah. it's still I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what about you? Know what I could see you doing is like having like a cheer spot where it's like you're the owner of this bar, and you're just like wife in the, the bar people coming in and you know all the locals and stuff like that i think if anything were to ever happen i would have a the thing about beer is that it's so cutthroat and it's so competitive to own your own brewery you have to focus on getting people in you know people should be busy friday and saturday night those other nights like getting people in karaoke or trivia or or you know this the the Mondays through the Thursdays, like that's so cutthroat. And not only that, but like, you're not even talking about distribution. You're not even talking about your four packs or your cakes. You're mm -hmm. not even, you're not even talking about like self distribution or your, your distributor. Like there's so many things. I think the best course of action, and we might even do this one day is, um, is, um, you know, going on like a local, um, neighborhood, tap house maybe just beer and wine and yeah. just sell all the local people's beer yeah and then on cool. the back maybe have your one barrel system that you're pretty much just giving away because you right. you can't i don't know how that would work with selling homebrew or from state to state or putting your own beer on um yeah. like, i think like that, that cup, would, like the cup but but yeah 
But um, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I uh, you know, you always want to kind of have like the genus idea, you know, have a YouTube channel with a beer and people come in, they, you know, or like mm, uh, yeah. always sunny in Philadelphia. Like they're always, um, I don't know, they're, you know, half their scenes are at the bar and this like that, that yeah. always looks fun. But um, no, more more than anything, I, I think I just want to travel <laughs> and just put out content and, and just be a shithead. Yeah, like like uh, Zach Pearson says, celebrity bartender. Celebrity bartender. <laughs> Fuck, I can't believe that people call themselves that. That's, that's insane. I say a lot of dumb shit, man, but that's like the dumbest fucking thing of all time. <laughs> to, to boost yourself like that. We got a party time. Just show party time. Well. What's up, James? And I know, and I want to hit the button. I want to hit some, yeah. come on down. I just, yeah, right. <laughs> it's not me tonight, man. It's um, it's we're on the bra show. Party time. What do we what do we have to do to get you to send us some beers? Is that even legal to send Canada beers? Can to, we get a hundred uh, people in here tonight? I don't know. Um, then we're definitely taking our shirts off. <laughs> at both at the same time. Uh, I I had another question come in uh, on Instagram. Was 93. like three. Oh what? Oh, fuck it. It was ninety three <laughs> people, and I just changed our. Oh, okay. Ourselves was not, now it's 91. I had another question coming on Instagram and it was, uh, what is a memorable mishap or mistake in what you learned from it? As far as from, brewing beer. Um, I mean, you're always going to have bad batches. I think the crazier you get, there's like a 80% chance it might work in your head and then the 20% chance that it, it's just not going to work because it shouldn't work, you know? And, um, I don't know, like there, there's a, there's a whole laundry list of things I could say, you know, like maybe if you have a bad batch, don't let it bum you out. Maybe you should start brewing again, almost like immediately. And like, if you're going to brew something like just do one of your favorite recipes or something. Yeah. But, yeah. um, I don't know. I've, I've had some bad batches over the years that like put me in a, in a beer funk. And we talked about this last night, right? You know, like, um, with elementary, it's like, what's the longest, how many months have you not put out a video or what's the longest you've ever gone, put not putting, not brewing or something like that. And it's like, yeah, try to minimize like those things, you know, and there's yeah. always, there's obviously life in general and things that happen and, and vacations and this and that, but there's always kind of like a couple hours of the day where like you could just kind of sit down and, maybe just look at like a new recipe or maybe look at some B roll or yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like, um, Sterling B the guy with the money. Sterling B's <laughs> got money. Come on down. What's um, up Sterling B. <laughs> what's up Sterling. I feel like, um, We're as far as mistakes and mishaps, it's like, they are like the most memorable as far as like, you don't forget that to, that you made that mistake. You're like, I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to mess that up again. You know? But you also got to keep in mind, like, that's where most everything came from was trial and error and fucking exactly, up and, yeah. and, and screwing the pooch. And, you know, there's this I, I do want to make this video like the history of beer because you always watch like how mine, how wine was made or how mead was made or how beer was made. Yeah. And everyone's like, this was like we were the first like mead was before beer. And I'm like, nobody knows shit. You know, you don't know what you're fucking talking about. But it was all made from mistakes. It was all made from you know, pretty much organic prison juice or Pruno, you know, right. somebody left this thing out here and this guy went up and drank it. And then he had another sip and they started laughing and they figured out that they were loosey goosey. And then they tried to do it again. You know? So, um, yeah, you, you're supposed to have mistakes. You're supposed to fuck up, right? You're supposed Absolutely. to play around. Yeah. I feel like I've been trying to show that more because I feel like, you know, at first you're like scared. You're like, I got, I got to be perfect because, people are watching, you know, but now it's like, if I fuck up, then maybe somebody else can learn from this and see that. Yeah, I agree. And I used to have that problem with, with just brewing, you know, cause just was like, I can only put out videos on YouTube. If I nail this recipe, it's like, no dude, like just put the video out. And then if it sucks, talk about why you think it went south, yeah. you know, like, that's something that apartment brewer he doesn't I mean talk about necessarily how he fucked up, but he, he always talks about improvements. that whole batch. Yeah, he threw out that whole batch of French toast IPA. Yeah, and he'll talk about like, you know, I've done that. How am I gonna make this better next time if I brew it again? Hundred percent. Yeah. And if you're gonna throw the batch out, I understand it's frustrating. But I've thrown out 
three batches that I can remember. I just threw out a batch yesterday. What'd you do? What'd you throw out? It was a, um, uh, uh, what is that called? Like, what's a Colt 45 called? Uh, malt malt liquor. liquor. Yeah, I'm trying to brew a malt liquor. Which is weird because what what is everything's malt. Yeah, but... Except for, you know... Yeah, food, and, food. and it's one of those things where it's like, I don't know if I'm fighting an uphill battle because malt liquor just tastes like shit, but I... Tastes like cheap. <laughs> yeah, it's like... The tastes one like, I made was like, just so bad, I couldn't, like, drink it. I was like, I got to dump this and try again. Tastes like junior. Yeah. And I'll talk about it in the video because I feel like that's a valuable thing unless i don't know but i think it is so what are you but what are you trying to make are you really trying to make like a colt 45 yeah exactly uh, yeah i'm just trying to like make a colt 45 it's actually a collab i'm doing with um brulosophy and i was oh, like okay and oh, I, I got an email on. and i was just like this is not like worthy of <laughs> martin martin's taste Brul- buds brulosophy so funny man <laughs> i hit him up last week and i text him i'm like hey man you want to come on the stream soon the hoppy hour is like yeah, totally. But like, just email me and yeah. uh, we'll set up a date. I'm like, we're already fucking talking. Like, wh- yeah, it's why did, if you're already like doing the most direct thing and they want to send you yeah. somewhere else, you know, it's, I always thought that was so silly. People got their preferred methods of communication, I guess. I'm always like in emails. I'm like, all right, hit me up on Instagram. It's just like more casual. Like <laughs> we can talk there. Are you, uh, Yeah. I mean, like how really busy is everybody, you know? And I, I remember, um, brew 45 Jordan S I'm not, you know, and people are different. And, um, for me, it's like just the, this little calendar right down here, the, the I calendar, like you put it on that and you get reminders show up. Like, I don't need emails. I don't need like a fax machine. Like we're, I don't know. He's, you know, he's, He's got a full-time job. He's got a killer beer thing going on and he's got, he's a dad too. So he's, he's got a lot different, you know, things coming in his ears than I do. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, the fact that yeah. he's done that channel for, or like the, the blog first and then the uh, podcast, he's done that. For yeah. So Dude, long. I remember the early days of uh, Brutalosophy where he'd just be like, he didn't even look like himself. He looked like this little kind of a, um, I don't know, Colorado hippie with a, with a slingshot on like not a wife beater, but a tank top. He'd be in the, his backyard talking right. about beer, yeah, this yeah. little, uh, four top patio. And I was like, that, that's him. Yeah. All right. That's, so that's what he looks like. The, the Oz is out from yeah. the curtain. You right. Know? Yeah. And this is probably, this is probably 10 years ago. Yeah, he was like this eating. This is probably yogurt. like ten or eleven years ago. Yeah, was that when he was like eating yogurt with like yeast in it? <laughs> did you see that one? I don't know because I remember he did he did YouTube for a little bit, and it can kind of flare out. Maybe you know you need a different platform, and then everything was like the website. Like the website mm-hmm. was a big deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Stellaris mm-hmm. beer. Oh, I love that place. I've been here with um, um, Jess Bruin. What have you talked to Just recently? Talked to Just a little bit. What I do know is that um, when Trevor go when he flies out of places, he always has a layover. Yeah, in Austin, that's right. Yeah, and they're always hanging out for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I miss yeah. I miss seeing Just man. He was like a fun. I think like there was a for a while that there it was really popping off and the, the amount of YouTuber the brew brew tubers there was. I don't know. I don't want to say anything. You know, you, you never know if someone's like burning out or someone's starting a brewery and they're trying to keep stuff hush hush or, mm. or people get sober and this and that. But um, I've reached out to him a couple times in the last six months and he's always like, dude, thanks for reaching out. Yeah, I'm just kind of um, getting ready to revamp and this and that. Um, but uh, yeah, last couple of times I've talked to him, he's been, you know, great spirits, doing good. Good. I That's believe great. still living in Austin. Yeah. Over there by, Do you still um, keep your eye out for like new uh, YouTubers? Are you ever like looking around? We were talking about this last night. Silverham and Bruin. Shout out to them. He was in here earlier, right? He might still be in here. Yeah. Still got, still got a chunk of uh, the world in here right now. Yeah. We had uh, uh, 85 people. That's yeah. funny how it goes up and down um, on the fly. That's JavaScript. Uh, <laughs> shit change, shit changing and without the browser reloading. Um, but any which way it shows up on your feed from time to time and you kind of want to look at things and then sometimes you feel guilty. You're like, damn, I, 
these guys have been putting out content for a while, this and that. And it's like these these guys that are killing it out there in the UK or Sweden yeah, or yeah. something. Mm-hmm. There was this video that showed up the other day. It was um, like the Cousin Eddie beer, you know, from Christmas Vacation. Have you seen that where they reenacted Cousin Eddie? No. That, yeah. That made my... Uh, With like my the little beer. moose cup? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were definitely... Wally's world central or Eastern Europe, but it was a great video and it was, it was good to see. And, um, you know, you, tr- you try to keep a tab on as much things as, as you can, but you can't, you know, you can't like right. all of your friends, Instagram stories or see all their posts or watch yeah, everyone's yeah. videos or, you know, see what your favorite bands are doing. You know, like it's, there's so much content nowadays. Yeah. yeah. There's so much, there's too much. Right. Yeah. So, so so for these like people that are starting or people that are thinking about starting a, a beer YouTube channel, what, what piece of advice do you have for them? That's a fucking, that's the best question I've ever heard um, <laughs> of all time. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you this after because we're in the same boat. <laughs> right, right. Uh, my best advice There's two things. What do you like? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to sell a product? There's three things. Are you trying to sell a product? Are you trying to open up a brewery? Or are you trying to just grow a YouTube channel and and hopefully do it full time? Right? Um, Sell a product's probably the best way. If you have a really good product, I mean, you, you know, sky's the limit. And like everyone, like more beer has a, YouTube channel now and Kegland has a channel now. I don't have a product. I, I have nothing. Climber, obviously, um, Anvil kind of puts out content a little bit. And then the brewery route, right? Like Genus Brewing or Tanglefoot, that's going to get some people in your door. Sure, cool. I'd imagine if you're selling a product or you're trying to, you actually have a brewery, you can't really put that much time into YouTube, right? You got, the primary thing going on but as far as me doing youtube and thinking like you're gonna do this one you know full-time one day or you're gonna be a youtube star or you're gonna be an influencer um you're you're gonna put yourself in a gnarly corner with beer because there's not a lot of us the de- the demographic sucks uh, it takes forever to put out content and you just have like one generation. You just like, you're not going to get the younger crowd. You're, you're not going to get the older crowd. You're not going to get any girls. You're not going to get any females. It's a really, it's really sad to kind of look at it. No, it really is. Like if you like looking back, um, so says you, I got, I got at least 3% female viewers you got your 97 to three i don't know (laughs) i'll show mine after this i love youtube i needed the creative the creative outlet i've i've always said like i I could give a fucking rat's ass if you took away my instagram or my facebook or my snapchat i wouldn't you'd probably do me a favor but um i love youtube I, i think i will always have a youtube channel i love i love creating your own little world some months it's good some months it's sad i've tried to do youtube full-time twice um it doesn't really work i don't i don't manage myself that well like to be like hey let's wake up at seven o'clock monday through friday and edit till five o'clock it's like no i'm gonna get a video out and then go spend a thousand dollars at the bar uh do i recommend starting a beer youtube channel I think that the reality of it is, is most people flare out. We were talking about this last night, like Larry barbecue, Larry and short circuited. Don't put out content anymore, whether you get sober or whether for health reasons, this and that things outside of your control. Um, I think it's always good to have a beer channel, but to put 100% of your content into beer, I think it's a very bad idea. That's the best answer I can give. I think it has to be something you love. I think every video you make, you have to be, it has to be something you enjoy doing and something you love. Like it, at the end of the day, YouTube is a very creative space. 
So if you're not making it for yourself to feel creatively fulfilled, then you will get like burnt out quickly. I think that goes with everything too. It's like if you, even if you had, you were making spaghetti or pizza or lasagna and you had a food channel that had a billion people, it's like, you can't just make spaghetti for every video. Like you have to, you, you don't have to adapt or die in that situation because you're probably, you know, killing it. But for the beer thing, it's like, back to what we first talked about when when you your first question is like you you you're you're uh i, I don't even know what you fucking make kefir or tampachi <laughs> like what do they call well that's the thing the whole video is like everyone comments and it's like you pronounced it wrong but it's uh they say it's kefir kefir okay yeah. so like yeah it's just to start doing those videos and I, I and i love the ideas of like hey let's not do a beer video today i've kind of made this video you've kind of made this video it's like let's go to the grocery store and let's figure out how to make alcohol and we'll get the whatever the dry the active dry yeast and you know we'll use sugar from whatever and let's figure out that like mm. i love watching those videos i i would love to make more of those videos or um, or this and that or you know like with elementary brewing like he uh he's like crane to glass for life but it's like i think you need to mix in a cider video they do well you don't need a lot of you don't need a claw hammer system. You don't need an anvil. You're still fermenting. You know, you're still under the same like cohort of your channel. I just think you got to mix it up a little bit more than, than I did. And, and, and I do think that the more you go beer, 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 the more you're kind of putting yourself in a, in a corner that's tougher to get out of. If you, if you're serious about consistently putting out content. Yeah. I mean, but the thing is, you can always. Hey, apartment brewer, man. I want to hit the button. Come on down. <laughs> Come on down. Big shout out to Steve right here, man. What's up, Steve? How are you, Braj? Nice. Actually, we have um, a couple comments here that I wanted to read. Uh, someone, uh, Zach Hoffman says, CH, you got me into homebrewing after I watched your Keezer video. Hey, I love making that video. Yeah. Cheers, man. Yeah. I, I, God, I love making those videos. Those are those, those, seem, those are always fun to watch. I, I, Screw it and glue it. <laughs> Screw it and glue it. I don't even have a keyser. I'm not trying to make one, but you click on one, and I get like five recommended that are like not even beer channels, even non-beer, like woodworking channels are making keysers. So that's always fun to watch. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so Zach uh, Pearson's text are messaging me here about Bagby. Bagby is closing on dude. the 28th. So three That's days wild. Away. Yeah. We, me and Tre Trevor and I talked about that last night. That was a weird one. You know, it's one of those things where like this place is going out of business and then there's another brewery that's coming right in to the same spot. And, yeah. Um, Bagby's like a, so it's a local spot here in uh, North County, San Diego. And huge. He, the guy, uh, the head brewer there, the owner of it used port. to work at Pizza Port. And yeah, kind of put them back on when the they map. were actually putting uh, hemp in their in their Carlsbad Chronic. Oh, really? True story. Yeah. No way. So Carlsbad Chronic, it's got to have some story behind it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it, yeah, it's sad to see. Like, it seems like there's a lot of places closing right now, but there are some places that are hanging on and still doing well. And like Bergen's opening a new place here. Bergen is by far the biggest leader in San Diego right now. For uh, that I know of. Yeah. But I wanted to talk to you about that. Like what is going on? I'm coming up on two years of not being in San Diego. It was funny when, when the Bruce show moved in, I moved out, even though yeah. he lived in LA, which is neighboring major cities. But, um, but it was when I came down for that collab when, and we got to like hang out. In I your, was like, I'm out of here. And no, I, no, no. That was when I was like, Oh, this is sweet down here. I could live down here. <laughs> yeah. Especially where I was like, I Googled my address the other day and I was like, and it shows like the bird's eye view. I was like, fuck man. Like I was like two blocks from the beach, man. Yeah. I was there for seven years and, and, um, you know, eventually I'll be back in San Diego. Um, I mean, I don't know, man, you know, my, I never want to live in California ever again, but my dad will never leave California and sooner or later, you know, you gotta, you gotta take care of family and, you know, do what's, do what's right. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And by the time I come back to San Diego and I try to get my old place back, that, place is going to be going for probably like $6,500 a month. <laughs> and I was only paying like 2,200 bucks a month. And well, yeah. not only that, but I had my roommate, you know, you met Britta and yeah. we were cutting that in half. And then when we, you know, when the, uh, 
when, when we parted the sea, the great divide, I kept that place for six months and I was paying the rent. And I was like, this is not sustainable. Yeah. 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 I didn't have any Tony uh, weather report. Yeah, yeah. He's keeping yeah, me afloat kidding. right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, man. That's all I get up here. It just says Tony weather. That's all we get. Yeah, yeah. Oh, apartment well, a brewing. Uh, is, I, I can't believe this guy's still making videos and he has a child. And I want to know. Steve's if, the man. Is, 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 are you making like, because uh, like stouts are like popular for like. Uh, One gallon batches. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> But like stouts are like good for like new mothers. I apparently I don't know. I've heard that. I I'm gonna get another beer. Uh, you're not going anywhere. I'm gonna put this on mute. No one's allowed to go anywhere. Okay. We're gonna get this up to 100 tonight. <laughs> okay. We're at 92. All right. We're at 92. <laughs> uh, apartment brewer. Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping by. I got to meet up with Steve a couple times last year. So we met up at Homebrew Con, which was fun. Um, hopefully you can make it out to HomebrewCon this year, but I also got to meet up with him in, uh, when I took a trip to Pacific Northwest or North, not Pacific Northwest, the New England. Sorry. I've had a couple beers. Uh, and I grabbed a heady topper up there. That's what I'm drinking tonight. We met up at, uh, what was that? Alchemist. But, um, yeah, I love apartment. Brewer. actually I was thinking about Steve, I haven't even reached out to you. I was thinking about having you on next month. Um, but, the chat will have to let me know who do we want to see next month since this is the first month of doing this live stream. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I appreciate you all being here tonight. Um, yeah, I'm having a great time. Steve says, I'm on parental leave this week, so I brewed a bit, but it's been about a month since I last brewed, then a month before that. But I feel like you're still putting out videos, so you're doing, you're doing great. Don't worry about it. Um, it'll party time. It'll hit a hundred when CH finally leaves. Yeah. Should I just kick him off? Will that do it? Will that push us over the edge? I've been, yeah, Steve, I've been saving this heady since I took that trip out East. Um, so I've been saving it for this very special moment. Yeah, I, guys, I'm having fun. Um, but we're probably going to wrap it up. Once he gets back, we'll finish one more beer and then wrap it up. So if you have any last questions for my man, anything you've always wanted to know or any embarrassing questions you wanted to ask him, let us know. Did I just shit my pants when I tried to fart? Yes. Like Philip Seymour <laughs> Hoffman from Along Came Polly. All right, here we go. We're going to downshift a little bit. We're going to go with the, uh, the GABF Silver. Oh, okay. Only a silver. Mark. Damn. Right. Uh, you sent me that one. Yeah, it's killer. It's good. Mo, 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 mo. Tony Weatherington, man. He wants that NBC. Dude, this this ain't my channel, man. I'm I'm not the game I know, show host I know. tonight. It's, it's I don't the have the button show. for it. I'm sorry, Tony. I'll get it there. Uh, so but- this is definitely I miss this dude. I shout out to the apartment brewer, man. Big shout out to uh Tony Weatherington as well. Shout out to everybody. If you're here right now, yeah, I know. Seriously. Shout out to you for being chill. Seriously, dude. This got a little bit more engagement than your last stream. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And were people you by yourself? Out. I think it's you. Yeah, because it was just me before, so like two people showed up, and that's a tough thing to do, though. <laughs> dude, yeah, talking to myself for an hour. I mean, everyone's in the chat, but I'm sitting here by myself. It's much easier having somebody. So I like I like doing this. I'm gonna keep it going. You, I think you should keep it going. Um, do a chat on that or a, a, a poll on that. Can we do it? Should the Bruce show do Thursdays first and, you know, third of every month or yada, yada, yada. <laughs> we still got cityscape here. Cityscape. That's how you know you're here. cooking with grease. I have a um, list. I have like a list of all these guys that I want to come on the stream. Cityscape, party time, apartment. Elementary. Party time's the best. Yeah. I want to get all these guys on there at some point. I also want to get people yeah, that yeah. are um not on youtuber i'd love to get like some instagram people or like people the, that are well, like uh, that, beer that could be tough though well, that could I be mean, tough though it could be but like i just want to get some people that we don't normally see get some like new faces on here could here's the thing like if you get a barbecue guy on i'm not gonna get a bar it's not gonna on. well you're you're vegan yeah but i'm just saying like if you like sometimes an all talks about barbecue 
which I love the comments are trolling and you know, the, the viewership's going down, you know, oh, like yeah, you got to yeah. kind of keep it within beer. Oh, I will. I th- yeah. Yeah. For sure. I, th- I think that it's good to get on people maybe from the area, you know, like, but the problem is that for me, we're going to talk some shit. We're going to do some locker room talk. I think you would keep it way more PC than I would. So I don't think you have to worry about that as much, but I definitely had some people on when I first started doing this the next day, they were like, I'm hung over it. Did I say anything stupid? Like, can we take that down? I was like, that's when the stream goes like four hours. That was, well, not even that. <laughs> it was like the broadcast. It was when it was just oh, the yeah, audio, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, there was a couple times and I was like, I don't know, man, like fucking, it was your mouth that said it. <laughs> oh yeah. This is like, that's why he'll never have me on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And, and uh, I'm not talking shit. I'm just saying that, when you're talking about having other people on, I, I definitely would love to keep it beer or fermentation focused, at least. You know, could be like a cider maker, could be a mead maker. I don't care. I mean, Faywood Mead. Stuff. I need to reach out to her. She was cool. I oh, remember she's when I, great. Yeah, Faywood. She's cool. Yeah. I remember when I first came out here, um, doing the most hit me up and was like, "Hey, do you want to be a part of like the greatest?" Or like the great something, the great American Mead Fest. Yeah, they have like one. a mead competition every year. Yeah. Yeah, and I I went on his Zoom call and there was like eight fucking people on there and I was like, fuck, I just came from a bar. I don't know what's really going on right now. And um, I met her through that, a couple other people, and those guys are troopers. That you know the mead people that are still putting out content. You know, because yeah, let's face it, beer is way more popular than mead. You know, so if we're complaining about know. our little niche. I don't oh, know. for sure. Sometimes no, no, no. I see some mead channels that are like massive and I'm like, what, what am I missing? No, 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 no. That never happened. That was a figment of your imagination. <laughs> okay, cool. Good. <laughs> good. Good. Yeah. There's that one <laughs> channel. There's that one channel you're talking about. Yeah. So people are watching it. So yeah, the mead stampede, that's what it's called. Ban- Banty. Rooster. I just don't, I just don't know. I, you know, mead is, I, I would think that cider is way more popular than mead. Is there a bunch of cider channels out there that are killing it? There's got to be. No, no. There is like, I know of like two or three cider channels and they're doing well, but I wouldn't say they're killing it. It's a weird thing, man. Like, what are you supposed to do every video, even with mead? Well, I mean, I've done a bunch of like weird ciders on my channel, but. Part of time. But like you said, like, I mean, beer's got 99 styles. Cider's got one. Right. And <laughs> ciders are like, you're just adding adjuncts, right? It's all kind of the base thing. I understand yeah, yeah. that there's probably, how many apples are out there? Maybe like 50. Oh, there's like a many, bunch. Yeah. There's a bunch. But like, no one gives a fuck about apples. Like People care about <laughs> grapes and hops. No one gives a fuck. When people talk about apples, they talk about colors. You know, like the red, the granny, and like this. Right, one. right. But the, but the guy that could break it down is like, this is like, you know, there's 120 of them and they're all different. Like, no, nah, they're not. Yeah. It's an apple, dude. I got a great, I, if it's people are into cider, I have a really channel. great cider channel and I'll post it as soon as I can find a video from it. Plug it. Um, But I do watch a lot of these cider channels that are great. City setting keeps coming up, doing the most. It's done. They're the big one. Yeah. Yeah. Man okay. made mead. I mean, I'll have to look at my subscribers, but. Cheers to everybody for still being here. Ali Oz. Cheers, yeah. man. You know, I love your barbecue. I got to get more into that. Love getting loosey goosey with some barbecue. Yeah. It's expensive though. It is. Everything's expensive. Barbecue's got to be the most expensive. Yeah. Like I'm trying to find places in Knoxville where you can get lunch for like 10 or $12. And the places where you don't have to tip. You know, <laughs> sometimes you go to like your favorite Asian food place and like, damn, they've got a really good lunch special. But they know my first name. They, they call me CH or Casey. Like, I got to tip them five bucks, so it's like $17, you know? <laughs> yeah. Barbecue's got to be what? Like, you're not eating barbecue for under 30 bucks unless you go to Buddy's. Yeah, I, go, I yeah. Know. I'm not really eating, eating any barbecue, so. No, I know that. <laughs> uh, I can't find the channel. I'll find it, and I'll post it. They're great. They're so popular, you can't find it. It's them. so yeah. popular. No, they're not popular enough. That's the thing. It's like Cider Kevin or something like that. Here we go. Cider with Kevin. Found it. Boom. 430 subscribers. Let's get him some subscribers. This guy's doing Let's, some cool things. Annie up, man. Annie up. Um, 
But yeah, do you, do you ever Bruce Iris? Maybe once or twice. But it was the it was the grocery store shit. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. Whatever. I've got a Saturday video. Yeah, yeah. What's the deal with with grocery store juice? Do they all ferment? Do they all are they all original gravity of ten fifty? Pretty much, in my experience, they're all like within ten forty five and ten fifty. Why is that? Is that for little kid purposes? Is that I think for it's like liability so they yeah. don't flare out? Yeah, I think it's like a tasting too, like the sweetness level. It's like what okay. it's like. And okay. Like, and they all taste the same. Like I. I've tried a bunch of them. I haven't done side by sides, but they all taste basically the same. Hmm. And the big thing is like, you know, there's like the cloudy cider or there's like the clear cider or mm -hmm. apple juice. Mm -hmm. And you basically get the, it impacts the final product. If you start with something cloudy, you're going to get something cloudy unless you throw like pectic enzyme or some, something in it to help it clear out. But it, it tastes pretty much the same to me. Right. I think Brulosophy just did a whole like uh, podcast on it that was like, you know, cheap store bought juice versus like expensive Trader Joe's store bought apple juice. And people that'd were, be that'd be a big thing. Yeah, people couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> what about taking some older? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks see dude. what I did there. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can do the math on that. Um, but I have thought about like, because I've got some mead videos, I've got some cider videos, like turning those into shorts. Do you have any success with growing your brand through shorts? And yeah. I want to talk to you about your like content remorse or if you could do it all over again too. But let's start with this. Yeah, I think, I mean, if you're just trying to grow subscriber count, if that matters to you, which I don't know that it really matters in the long run, but doing shorts will get you reach because like if it hits then you're hitting like like i did a kombucha one and my kombucha like video itself isn't that great it hasn't performed that well i enjoy the video but people just don't watch it but the short has like a hundred thousand views and that brings in a ton of people right so there's no money involved in it there's definitely no like do people like even comment on shorts or, oh, like, yeah. or thumbs yeah. up or they do. Okay. So yeah. there's engagement. There's engagement. So that, it, it's just like, do those viewers of shorts translate into long form video viewers? That's the well, question. I, th I think we're doing pretty good right now. Like you've been on the grind for a couple of years and you got 90 people still watching. You're coming up on some coin and you're going to, you're going to, you know, donate half of that to me as soon as we get off of this. And I'm going to go to fucking uh, Asheville by myself. I'm kidding. <laughs> but I'm saying like, it all kind of trickles in, right? Like it, it, it's weird. Like if you don't put out content for a month or two months or something, you're kind of like a loner, you know? And then when you start putting out content again, you're kind of like, you know, oh, I, this, I forgot about this guy who comments on the video or this guy's coming out of the woodwork. Like it feels good again. Like you got to kind of back to what I was talking about before. Like if you're really serious about doing the stream and I think you should, um, consistency is the number one factor mm -hmm. with anything, right. with shorts, with uploads, with this and that. And yeah. like me, you know, when I first started doing YouTube, I was like new videos every week, new videos every week. You were saying that for a little bit. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was doing new videos every week, but that was kind of the thing to say, the thing to do, right? Everyone yeah. was kind of like new videos every Tuesday or new. Right. It was like, every, yeah. Consistently every week was like the thing they said. Impossible. Yeah. If you have a fermentation channel, impossible. It is tough. Yeah, for sure. Trent, we want to do a sports channel. Who's going to win? Right. The, the lions or the, 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 the lions are going to lose by four points. Right. Uh, it's going to be 28 to 24 and then the 40, uh, no, they're playing the Lions. And then I think Baltimore is going to beat the Chiefs by three. We could make these videos all day and chop them up. Right. Skip yeah. Bayless, Shannon Sharp. I <laughs> right. get that. They're a good talker. Uh, Stephen A. Smith. Yeah. Easiest jobs of all time, man. You're, you, the weather, you're worse than the weatherman. You can right. be wrong, predict all this bullshit. It's also like a short memory thing, too. Like, they can, you know, they talk about a, the game. And then, like, you know, nobody's watching that video two weeks from now unless it's like a compilation of like this guy saying the dumbest shit ever you know right and like yeah. you do see that short come up from time to time where it's like skip bayless said something like johnny manziel will be bigger in cleveland than lebron james you're like 
that was the dumbest fucking thing of yeah. all time. <laughs> right. That was one of the dumbest. <laughs> fuck, and you're like this Emmy award winning, you know, been around the world, writing sports. And you're supposed to know about all this stuff. And um, just, right. just s- silly, just silly to say, but then what do you do? You have your next video in the morning. Be like, he said this, this guy's such a fucking idiot and shit on him. It's like, you got content. You got people right. want that video. People want to say like, is he going to have excuses? Is he going to man up and this and that fermentation? That's, that's what you got to do. No, you got to bring that to the, to the, uh, the sphere. You got to like start shitting on all of everyone's channels, start talking shit on everyone's videos and then we'll, we'll clip it. I think we <laughs> talked about this. Didn't you tell me to do a commentary? I'm going to troll my own, my own shit. That would be a good idea to start a YouTube channel where you're trolling your own, especially your older videos. You're like, what the fuck? Right. And you're just like in the back, just like that panda bear gif, like smashing keyboards and throwing <laughs> shit. And right. Better know a good drywall guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I think you just set the record for most people that are here right now. No way. How many people I think are here? you got 95. We're on the wow. cusp, man. Cuspers. Dude, I- I've only had a hundred, I think for brulosophy the homebrew challenge and maybe something else. Well, it's you, it, you're bringing the people in. I'm, I'm just here facilitating the interview. I don't think, I, I think you lie like a rug, baby. I think you lie <laughs> like scum. I think you just need to have, come on, man. If you have party time on or philosophy, like you're, come on, you got it. <laughs> oh, we got yeast in the barrage. Yeast in the right. Where's his videos at, man? We're waiting on that. Dude, yeast in the barrage has some killer diy anvil he does setups. yeah like when he takes the 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 spray valve from the claw hammer system and puts it on that so yeah that's genius barrage alert yeah 100 percent. yeah yeah brew cabin is entered the chat where's brew cabin man i thought he was coming back i thought he was gonna make a big uh that would be great he's got his uh, uh pool cabin stuff right well He's got a lot of channels, man. He's got like a how to make money channel. He's got a, a, a white rapper channel. There's a lot of yeah. uh, content he's putting out. People were asking about um, Poorly Gentleman, which I do talk to Bradley. A decent Bradley's amount. a good dude. Yeah. He actually says he's going to like, he's because he like redid his whole garage, but he says he's actually going to like uh, do more like uh, uh, tech slash food related stuff, I think. I think he's going to move Can't away wait. from beer. Can't wait. So we'll see. Uh, good question. CH final question or final, final question. Will you, uh, Tony, come on, man. You, you can ask him all night, man. <laughs> Will you release more videos, helping brewing on a budget, have tips and tricks up your sleeve involved to be more efficient. I think that I've probably done like four of those videos and, um, I, the Bruce show kind of paved the way for that, you know, the propane tank and the, uh, it wasn't the metal basket. It was the, uh, the, the mesh basket. Oh, right. Well, yeah, but you were like the original, like, I'm going to figure out how to do this, like with a Gatorade cooler and like, yeah, I was definitely so anti like spike and claw hammer when I first started out because you can really like just DIY everything. You really can't, you know, we're talking about stainless steel plastic. Mm hmm. Um, which that Blast I feel like that's still the, the way to go. If you're getting started, I think there is that that's the entry level point, right? Unless people yeah. are just going straight to like anvils now. I don't know. That'd be a good question. Like what's the most popular system nowadays? And like I guarantee you it's not propane. It's gotta be electric. Yeah. Let's find out. I'll put a poll. McGruber. Some V some vegan barbecue dishes. I've had a lot of good vegan barbecue dishes. That jackfruit, you can hide a, you can get away a lot with that. No, but you know, I talk a lot of shit um, all the time, and I talk a lot of shit about brew cabin. But like, I really enjoyed that guy's videos. You know? Yeah, I did too. And he was getting really good views and engagement for like the four or five videos he put out. Yeah. I think he's got to knock that shit off with the whole, uh, like trying to do like a, a David Bowie rap album, you know, after the brew day, but like, Hey that man, was kind of you funny know, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, live your life, you know right. I mean? You know, it's, I mean, you put out content. I mean, 
at the end of the day, like you're putting yourself out there to be judged. Yeah. Well, all right. What are, what are the uh, what are the options here? Brew in a bag, propane, right? Electric all in one. Hang out with Brew Cabin. Yeah, three. Th- <laughs> okay, I'm gonna chill out. <laughs> three, like a three Robert tier system. What was his name? Uh, I don't remember. Nick, Matt, Matt. All right, I'll chill out. All right, three tier. I'm gonna what, see him. One what else is there? What like else is there? Idiot. What are chat? Let us know. James fucking Manuel. super chat in the house just brought us up to like seven hundred dollars. Let's fucking go. Let's go, James Manuel. Is that? I hope that's James Manuel, that four year old kid too. I hope that's not his son. I actually hope that that's a little kid that chimed in with that. Shout out to JM, man. Come on down. Hit the button. All right, I'm right. I'm gonna start the poll here. Shout out to James Manuel. Just trying to figure out where you guys stand. Where do people stand as far as like Dude, what I hate system are they three bringing tier. On? I hate a three tier. We're going to go electrical on one, 75%. Yeah, it's rock and roll. I feel like, I mean, it, but is that the question? Then the second question is now, is that where you started or is that just where you're at now? No, hell no. Everything was propane back in the day. There was no electric. Well, yeah, I know for like us, but like for the new the newbies. Uh, I don't know. Get I was always skeptical in. of electric, um, but, you know, obviously moving. James Emanuel, it's an old picture of me. Well, I remember Three tiers like, anymore. Hell no. For years, it was Hard like no. you had to be um, like short. Circuit. 100 people watching. 100 people Hell watching. Yeah. We got a picture in here. Dude, nice. Cheers, guys. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Fuck yeah. Hey, Trent, we're doing an NBC. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Should I hit the All button? Right, here we go. Should I do it? Should I hit the button? Do you have the button to hit? I got a button to hit. Do you have the gate, the red button, the gatekeeper button? Should I hit it? Uh, I'm hitting so. Hit it. Yes. You did it, baby. There was a hundred people watching. I've got a I've got a beer question or a hard seltzer question, or I've got a, a gluten free question. Okay, so proper seltzer, which I believe is Omega. Okay. I remember they, they would sell it in dry form, big form, and then even in a can form, like a 12 ounce can form. Was that all geared towards hard seltzers or was that geared towards just yeast nutrient for the Omega yeast, which should be for, for what happened? I was muted. Oh, um, so to answer your question, they had the proper starter, which was like a can yeast starter. Right. Which is just sugar and yeast nutrients. It's got to be just. But it was like malt. It was a malt based thing. So it'd which be like. Is what? So Liquid. Like, like you would make like a yeast starter for beer. Okay. And then the proper thing was just like yeast nutrient for like a seltzer. So you would throw like a. <laughs> you would throw like, you know, your Lutra uh, in there and then you would throw your. Sorry, proper. I was drinking. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Have a pretty good night, Brosh. I'm having a great night. Oh, 100%, man. Cheers to the Brosh show. Fucking dude's got like 50,000 subscribers. He's got like, what are, you, what are you coming up on? Hey, Trent, you know I'm just, you know I'm, I'm super proud of you when I say that. And um, um, I think it's awesome. I Dude, I appreciate it. I mean, like, 
you are truly like I am the uh, the you are the sensei to my grasshopper. So no, you are the <laughs> Miyagi. I am the wax on wax off. <laughs> you're the you're Ugh. the uh, uh, what's that? I'm Daniel Sign. You're the fucking uh, Cobra Kai. I'm da- I'm uh, Mr. Silver from uh, right? Part yeah. Three. Yeah. <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. When he's got the paint in his head. Yes, yeah. Did you wah. watch the new show with that? Yeah, but I only can do, I like the first three seasons were awesome. They were so good. And that whole like Johnny Lawrence char- character, it it was kind of, uh, it was kind of like, it hit two home. I was like, that's going to be my ass. Like, I'm going to be like the burnout dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Going back to the old high school town and trying to like start shit. Right. Um, okay. And I, and I love that. And I think that he made the show. You know. I oh, think for that he, sure. For sure. Yes. Uh, yeah. Nobody yeah. who really likes Danny Larusso. I mean, come on. Yeah, he's. You know, I understand the character, the family man, um, sells cars and this and that. But like, you want like the burnout story, the the guy who's right. It's like rage. Not, yeah. He's got a new job every two weeks. Doesn't, exactly. It's like Put some people watch shit. Star Wars for Luke Skywalker. Some people watch it for Han Solo. And dude, you know what? <laughs> like, it is is in, is embarrassed as I am, and as much as I know about retro movies, like I never, I never bought into uh, Star Wars. Oh yeah, or never, never. Not even like the original trilogy. No man, like even as a little kid, when the video games would come out, I'd buy them on Super Nintendo. And I just, and I understand like what that was probably like to come out in 1977 and how good George Lucas was and, um, you know, how real everything looked, Mm -hmm. but I just couldn't do it. And that's why I was so stoked on Game of Thrones because I finally bought into this like fantasy, you know, dragons going around. Like I I was obsessed with Game of Thrones and, you know, I, I, I don't believe in ADHD. I mean, I do. I think everyone's kind of on the spectrum, but like when I was watching Game of Thrones, like or Breaking Bad, like they had my attention the whole time, like the un- un- yeah, my yeah. most undivided attention, you know. And, and I was a little bit too young for The Sopranos, even though I I do think that Sopranos is the best show of all time. You know, the best drama. It's tough to compare like The Sopranos to The Simpsons. You know, that's that's impossible. Breaking Bad. Ah, uh, Sopranos over Breaking Bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, but it, you know, and it, I, I, I appreciate the Star Wars thing. Um, I appreciate the Game of Thrones thing, and they try to do the prequels and then the sequels, and then I think the last time I saw a fucking Star Wars movie, like uh, Samuel L. Jackson was in it. Like, yeah. how, how like, <laughs> he got a purple lightsaber. Yeah, we went from like opening up the briefcase, the briefcase to Quentin Tarantino to like now you're uh, running the galaxy or some shit. Yeah, it was just a lot. Uh, but I, but I, Game of Thrones was um, the most addicted and hardest I've ever binged anything. Yeah. What I, about you? What's the hardest you've ever been? It was probably the, Breaking Bad because I, I was Bad. I was out of that for a while and then I I think we watched the whole thing in like a couple of weeks. Yeah, and I was like, "This right. is the greatest thing I've ever seen." This is the greatest thing, yeah. You know, I when he goes it. from like loser husband to like kingpin and right nerd. Yeah, basically, he goes from like nerdy, you know, teacher to Scarface. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah. By the way, we got the uh, poll ended on what system do you brew on? And all electric all in one wins with fifty nine percent. Then twenty three percent brew in a bag. 13% other, which God. if you voted other, please let us know what you picked and or what you brew on. And then three tier got 3%. With uh, respect to you guys, still brewing on the three tier. That's cool. Big shout out to Chris Vodica for dropping The Wire. I've never been into The Wire. I've never given it a chance, but people that watch The Wire swear by yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like I've heard only good things. Yeah, and I think that was right at the time, like a, maybe a little bit after The Sopranos, but you know that HBO bought the rights to it, so you knew it was going to be real. You know, was, you knew it was going to be the streets and R-rated and, yeah, and yeah. Um, you know, no laugh track and shit like that. Right. It's all changed. Like, <clears throat> is there still sitcoms? Is there still? I mean, there <laughs> are, unlike CBS, I'm sure. 
there's no way people are watching that shit anymore. Yeah. Like how I met your mother or, or um, those were like the last of a generation. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I remember like uh, John Mulaney tried to come out with the sitcom like 10 years ago and it was so bad. It's like, it just doesn't work as well anymore. But it works if you put it into, into cartoon characters. I feel like Bill Burr's got one and everyone, Big right. Mouth or uh, Rick oh, yeah. and Morty. But like that, the yeah, cartoon. like there's no laugh track on those. So are they still considered like sitcoms? I don't know. Does that make a sitcom a laugh track? I don't know. Where would you put The Simpsons or South Park? They're definitely comedies. Right. They're not situational comedies, but like are they in their own cohort because the writers and the voice actors are not – or the voice actors are, are just voice acting and there's animation. I don't know. But what I do know is that we just we blew past the two hour mark. All right. So one more beer. I got a little bit left. How about I finish this beer? But any last questions, let's get them in now and then we'll two wrap hours. it up and get out of here. Those are rookie numbers, man. I'm going to get another <laughs> beer. I'll be right back. Okay. Right Put in those questions. Anything you got, we're going to finish this up. Probably. The next 15, 20 minutes. Sitcoms have switched over to the office style format for themes part. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Malcolm in the Middle. That's true. Yeah, I guess that's true. Like, not all sitcoms have to have a laugh track. Yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, Just Homebrew. Shout out to Just Homebrew. Uh, he's got a great channel. Uh, really good stuff over there. I know. I like how he's calling rookie numbers. Like I'm not trying to go four hours. Like we, we, we can still have an, our night after this. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Ryan says no more questions. Just request for more collabs. You guys are awesome. Cheers, man. Thank you for watching. Thanks all you guys for coming. Chris Vodica. I'll ask again. Have you done a video on a Gruet style? I haven't done, let me think. I did technically do a Gruet when I did the grocery store beer, which is like, I just used ingredients from a grocery store and I used like, I'm trying to remember what I used, like sage, I think, or rosemary. Um, but I haven't like done like a beer grains and then non hops. So that is something I definitely want to do. If people are interested in it, I will make that video. Eric Nelson, will there be a PB&J video? Absolutely. That's what we're working on. We're both collabing on that right now. Mine's already in the keg. Um, CH still has to brew his this weekend. Cityscape, you still live streaming, man? I'm sorry. I haven't missed your last couple ones, but I'd love to like stop by. And I'd love to have you on as well. So let me know if you ever want to come on. Elementary still hanging out. Nice. Uh, Randy Rooster asked about the uh, herb cream ale. So that technically, I think, had hops in it, if I remember. At the start of the uh, uh, boil, I put in hops. But at the end of the boil, I put in, like, lavender and tarragon, which it was super good. I like that beer a lot. Oh, sweet. We got a super chat from uh, Latchy McFarlane. Sorry if I pr pronounced that wrong. Latchy, hello from Australia, dudes. Nice. Hell yeah. I went to Australia. Uh, last year we, let's fucking go yeah. you can't go anywhere now man you can't leave after a, a donation i know we gotta hang out for a little bit more well not only that but you're like three hours in the past or earlier right true in australia <sighs> is it uh, what no you Bruce oh, okay, like okay. it's 11 o'clock right. my time well he's from australia i'm just trying to figure out what time it Why? is there but, right, but what do you what do you have to do tomorrow besides work? You know, like, like, let's get loosey goosey. I uh, gotta work. Actually, oh, I gotta finish gonna edit editing tonight? my video. I have to edit my video tomorrow. Are you gonna upload tonight? What's up, Bruce? No, 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 no. I'll upload tomorrow. Upload tomorrow. Okay. I basically have to there do the go. music. That's like the last thing I do is music and. Later, Sonny. Much love, Braj. Later, dude. You do the music at the end. I do. Yeah. You do the. It's music my at least the favorite end. part. It's the music. Interesting. The music at the end. Okay. Uh, Steve's asking, "Do you you gonna do uh, homebrew con again?" Yeah, I am. I'll be there. If you're gonna be there, let's do it. Let's collab again. I'm down. I'm only going if, if apartment brewer goes. 
He's gone. That's the bottom line. He's gone. Oh, he was the one that asked that. Okay, never yeah, mind. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Yeast and the Beast, Trent. Where do you draw your inspiration? That's a great question, man. I don't know. I mean, I watch of a lot of YouTube. As far as like video ideas, I watch a lot of YouTube and get ideas from that. But as far as recipes go, whoa, uh, we got a non-brewer in the house, Nintendo Wayne. Shout out to my brush down there in New Orleans, <laughs> man. Much love, man. Him and his wife, Brittany. He's chiming in, nice. dude. We got 79 still people here. Nice. I love you, Wayne. Uh, yeast. I get my inspiration from food, basically. I'm a big food lover. I go out to eat Wayne. a lot, and I draw inspiration from that. I'm a big seasonal brewer. I Based on the spe- season, I'll brew what I want, but usually it's based on food. Uh, let's see. Oh, Cityscape. Trying to keep it going. Nice, dude. Thank you. A tip towards one more brew show live every month. Cheers. What are we up to? $700? No, I don't think so. Let's see. Uh, $5.37 and 89 cents because we got some Australian dollars. Cheers to my Aussies. $537. Bucks. You know what was cool the other night? I want to give a big shout out to um, Party Times Barrage. Party times. The brought. day after, okay. you know, because I want to, I want to keep every stream up, and we'll keep all the streams up. All that shit I talked about, brew cabin, like it's, it's fine. He's not going to hear about this. But somebody tipped fifty dollars the next day in Canadian. Like you never get the donations the next day, and this guy came through, and that's still like, I mean, any donation you got to be appreciative for, but. It's still gonna be like forty bucks, right? Like, what's the USD to Canadian uh, Canadian vibe? I don't know. Is party time still here? Oh shit! I just got a gifted membership. We got a uh, Northwest Small Batch Brewing. Yeah, if dude. we come up with a thousand bucks, big wow. love, Wayne. Not only that, but we're gonna go down to New Orleans and hang out with my fucking Braj, uh Nintendo Wayne, man. He's got a Nintendo game Wayne. room like you have never seen in your entire life. Wait, wait. I just watched like a blog. Uh... A vlog yeah. that you did in New Orleans, from it was on a Village Park Source. Uh, apartment Brewer coming through. <laughs> We're coming up on six hundred dollars. Wow! I'm gonna take over from here on out, Trent. You go, <laughs> yeah, Dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna Jeez. go over to my channel. Wow! Uh, Thank well, back you, Steve. to eighty-two. Trent, the worst thing you could ever do right now is to cut the stream. <laughs> Fuck your video, man! It, it, it you know. <laughs> wow! No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Kind of, I'm kind of <laughs> wow! Kind thank of well, first of all, thank you Northwest for the gifted memberships. That's amazing. I'll get Lucy Goosey for you. If you get gifted a membership tonight, like Hell Lion and Andy Levesake, sorry if I say your name wrong, Patrick Sandy, I know him. He he's a avid commenter. You guys get access to um, all kinds of perks. So make sure you check out what you get when you become a member. But wow! Thank you, Apartment Brewer. What kind of surgery does this pay for? Penis reduction for my buddy over here. Correct. I know. I've, <laughs> I've, I've been long overdue. Thank you, Ryan Pearson. Good looking out, Baraj. Steve coming through, man. No, nah, this is cool. And you know what? You know, I, I love this. You know, um, I think you need to do this every Thursday. I think you need to. Um, I think you need to do this every Thursday. But just know. This might be as good as it gets. Yeah, yeah. This is the peak. We've, we're at the top, and it's just downhill from here. This is what happened Until to me we get Steve on. If I, I was s- like, I got 1500 bucks that night, and then me and Jess went to um, – He blew it all in one night. Yeah, and I was like <laughs> Randy Marsh from the election <laughs> South Park. Like, fuck you, boss. I quit. You're going YouTube <laughs> right. full-time. And then you do a stream the following week, and you're like, $5. Right, and you're right. just like, okay. You know, when it rains, it rains when it rains, it pours. And you know, when it, when it's the desert, it dries up. So. Right. Right. Um, we'll see. I think I'll I'll just keep it to a month. Maybe if I can get Steve on next month, it'll be a a good one. We'll see. I think you're blowing it. I think you're wrong. (laughs) I mean, what's stopping you? Um, You have like a slow pitch softball league on Thursday. A bunch of fucking (laughs) has-beens. No, it's you when I play it, Hogwarts you? Legacy. It's my Thursday night tradition. That's your thing. You're supposed to go <laughs> battle mage for D and D nights. Right, right. <laughs> I I can't stress it anymore, man. Consistency is the vibe. I I mean I agree. I mean I I need to start posting again actual videos. That would help too. What was your last video? It was the uh, chai 
hard T. How's it doing? Ten of ten. Oh, but that's shit. okay. Because I'm sorry. It was, You're it, a trooper. If people watched it, it's actually a super fun video because it's me and my brothers making something I love together. That video. Hey, elementary, come on down, yeah. man. Loves, dude. I love me some Brian. His videos are amazing. I love. Why well, I, I was telling him that last night. I was like, every video gets more and more cinematic. And Brian, like, it's. I don't know if my videos are getting better or worse or whatever. I just kind of skimp out with uh, the the B roll and this and that. But Brian's videos are getting. And we talked a little bit about you know the filter and the camera, whatever you know his production value. But um, he can keep. He's telling the story through video is as good as it gets. Yeah. And I was telling Brian, I was like, dude, if you rolled this over to just doing like one, you know, bartending video or something like that, like you would crush the next guy. Like I look at, I look at all the bartending videos. I look at these guys. I'm like, you guys have so many views and you're just sitting there and you're, some of these guys just have one camera and it's just, yeah, there's no B roll. There's no voiceover. They're just talking the whole time. I was like, if you took Elementary's production or your production or the Hops and Gnarly's production and did a bartending video, you'd rip it to shreds. Like it would game over. Yeah. Like the people that are watching these videos. My favorite part of like last night's conversation was he was like, I, I did my first 12 videos on my phone. And I was I like, thought holy about that shit. Today. I thought that about is that amazing. Today. I th Dude, I can't even like, like, uh people's fucking instagram posts you know sometimes i miss and unfollow them he was actually editing videos on his phone that's amazing and, and the fact that he goes and like teaches like delinquent children all day and that has yeah. good time to like <laughs> no brian brian's the best man super grateful for the time that he gave me last yeah, night yeah. And... Uh, anybody that puts anything on the internet whether it's an instagram post like you're taking time out of your day to create something. And I think that's so cool. And the fact that people are editing videos on a hobby that not that many people do that you guys are all here tonight. Cheers to you guys. hundred percent. And sometimes you see people do that. Um, they'll say like edited with iPhone after, you know, if it's a reel or a TikTok or um, whatever the, you know, the, the short, the 59 second thing is I'm like, there's no way they did that. There's no way they did that. But it's also, film top to bottom so you could tell that they filmed it with uh silver hammer come yeah, on down. they filmed hammer. that you could tell they filmed it with a phone unless they took a dslr and went sideways and I, I don't think that they're doing it yeah i think that the phone is much more accessible but um yeah yeah man shout out to brian man and, and keep it going man and you know all i know is if you guys weren't putting out content it would it would take a lot of wind out of my sails so yeah i think you it's like are, a group effort. All, i think we're all like motivating each other which is cool yeah i think we all need to show up to gabf this year and really barrage out yeah Braj Braj con i mean how many times have we chilled in real life trent like four five or five yeah yeah i got some b-roll of us in the last time um Bruce. You were, prucy yeah, el brajo pd McEnroe. when we were at um the cup right there right where uh Donnie lives and where my last Airbnb was. Yeah. The place is cool with Maury and Kev. Mm -hmm. Um, and you showed up a little bit late. You were wearing your, your green Bay Packers thing. And then I had to cut out and meet my family right after that, man. But that was yeah. cool that, that we were able to. Yeah. And I hung out with Maury for a little bit. That was always good. Yeah. Maury. Okay. Like when we chilled at battle mage last, last month. Yeah. You know, Maury just no, can't make it to Vista. Did he ever make it? Did he ever show up? He was with us for like an hour. We took a picture and put it on Instagram. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're going CH on me, man. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> uh, I what need happened, to text man? him more. I need to like hit him up because he's a man. Maury, well, you, you know the thing about Maury, though, right, is uh, he's never talked on the phone. Oh, really? In his entire life. Yeah, he, he goes through text and carrier pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't talk on the phone. It's the oh. weirdest thing of all time. He just doesn't. I've called Maury probably five hundred times, and I, you know, and I'll, and then I'll text him. I'll be like, "Where are you at?" And then he'll be like, "He'll write back. I'm picking up burritos. I'll be there in five minutes." I'm like, "Well, you can't answer the phone." And he'll just, he'll just straight up tell you, "He's like, I, 
I do not talk on the phone, <laughs> dude. This is, this is this is so weird, but in a way, like kind of badass, like kind of cool. Maury's he's definitely a an albino pigeon. You know, he's definitely kind of a one off to to his own. You know, and uh, and I loved him for it, man. And, and we're in a group text and. We crack each other up. He was blowing me up last night. He's like, dude, I'm doing dry January. I can't take this shit anymore. If I come to Knoxville, will you cave for me? I was like, dude, I'll cave in a heartbeat for you, man. I'll cave without <laughs> thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. ADHD IPA, baby. Yeah. That's my favorite. See, he's like, Denny and Drew would be down for a stream. I would love to have Denny and Drew on, man. But who? They're, uh, so Denny Khan and Drew Beecham, they're like homebrew like legends. They wrote mm. a bunch of books on subject basically and they've been around for a long while but we steve and i met them at um uh, homebrew con they were super chill and i did a video on um so uh denny's known he makes this beer it's called a wee shroomy he takes chantrelle mushrooms and he puts it into a uh wee heavy so we might have another new trend on our hands maybe but i made beer i made a beer with um uh, mushrooms in it. It was like my Super Mario beer. Hey, we got it. You got to give a, a a proper goodbye to Tony Weathering. Yeah, of man. course. That- yes, got to drop. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for the live stream, Trent. Thank you for coming, Tony. Thank you for the support from before the stream through the stream. You've been amazing, dude. Thank you so much. I Tony, you, you you made my night because that money I'm gonna peer pressure Trent into coming out to Asheville. Yeah, in Knoxville. Tony, let me know so, if you want a beer glass or something. I'll send it to you. You all, you earned it. Yeah, I'll send. <laughs> yeah, if you want my, you know, OnlyFans, I'll, I'll give oh, yeah. you the. Uh, right, 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 right. I got some news. <clears throat> what? What happened? I just blacked out. We're good. <laughs> Tony, have a good night, man. You're the Braj. Thanks for supporting the homie. Yeah, yeah. Brewing bad. We shroomy. Look it up. It's a thing. Well, dude, I don't want to keep you too long. I don't know. Later, Pat. No, no, no. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> I look at, you dictate how long the stream goes. Oh yeah, sorry. sorry, sorry. <laughs> you got to get out of here. I don't know. I mean, I feel like it's hitting that point. We're at the uh, two and a half hour mark. Uh, I think it's kind of just getting going, but I have a full beer. Let me. All right, suck all right. How this about this? Really I'll get a half pint, and then I'll meet you halfway. How about that? Let's do let's do a deal on that, and maybe we can do like a lightning round. Talk about whatever, like top you know five minutes of yes. your 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 youtube calendar what you want to brew this year yes or, um, sounds you know. good thank yeah. you for creating the content for the stream i appreciate 100 percent. Bruce right. wants to know really quick which uh which boom mic you got are you doing usb or are you doing i think XLR? i have the same one you have are you xlr xlr i got the uh i think you're right it looks exactly the same uh audio technica are you on the back or are you on i'm on the audio technica a at 2020 uh close but no cigar mine's more expensive than yours that means uh, i'm better yeah. than you i'm kidding uh, <laughs> are, you, are you doing negative 10 decibels or are you doing zero decibels you see that little one back there no i don't have that i got i got I'm running into a mixer board under here what's your mixer board i don't know it's a uh, m audio m audio mixer board i don't want to try to pick my oh, crap. all right let me grab a beer you hold yeah. it down yeah, answer, come on. Man. Answer some questions. Anywhere. Yeast okay, and the Beast wants to know. Yeah. We're not leaving here until it's just me, you, and Yeast <laughs> and the Beast, and there's three people watching. Yeah, yeah. it's only you, me, and Yeast and the Beast. Oh, I can't wait. What's going on, guys? I 100% agree with Blackwood Brews. You cannot leave. See, that's what Trent, he doesn't understand that. He'll. It's going to take him some time. And not only that, but it's, I'm, it's 11.23 my time. I've got to go to Zool at 9 a.m. to pick up some stuff from the head brewer, and I will be there at 9 a.m. And Trent's thinking about dipping out. I've got to go pick up some DAP or some that proper seltzer thing, come back home, edit, clean my house, go back to work. I work Fridays and Saturdays, and I'm going to do it all. And Trent's got 72 people rocking and rolling, and he's trying to get out of here. He's trying to get out of here. Uh, elementary, I can help you out. I have a couple of these. Brian, I'll send you one of the. There's, see kind of my setup back there? See that one right there? So I've got this one. 
and then that's the one where I do my all my weird rant shit. But you can see that's my Sony A7 II right there. And then that's my XLR. And then that's my road right there. So it's kind of picking it up from both. And I'll kind of take whatever audio is the best on that. Bruce can you see this? Yeah, green screen? Yeah, well here, okay, so here's my audio. And I if if Brian wants to test out the waters, I think I have a, a 2035. I think these were 250 bucks a pop. But I've got the same one right there. And you see that, Trent, you see that in all the videos. Like you, you've always, yeah, yeah, yeah. you've seen that from the Carlsbad days. Yeah. And then the, the road is up there and I kind of play around with it. Like when you shoot, do you just do one microphone or do you take a couple and see what you got the best from? Like, will you shotgun and lab yourself up or, or no? Um, you, I mean, if I'm talking about my professional career, I always, there's uh, duplicates of everything. Right. So it's like you yeah. mob like them and you boom like them. Smart. So when I'm doing myself, it's just lav mic or this guy. Okay. Uh, elementary, do I need something else to plug it into? Well, you've got it. I've got the Zoom H6. Yeah, yeah. You can usually, you, it's coming through XLR. Like, that's a common thing. Like, you're probably going into XLR, which is then, yep. I mean, wh which one do you rock for this? You need some way to convert the XLR into like something, right? So that's what you're okay. plugging into. And what's up with that little that little blue thing that everybody has? That cloud filter thing that pumps up your XLR. That's kind of what I have right now. It's just like you, a uh, preamp almost like kind of thing. I know you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I don't Goose know. Goose Rava. Goose Rava knows what's up. Yeah. What's he Guilty saying? What's he saying? He, he's, he's, uh, he sniffed it out. Oh, he knows yeah. What's up. Yeah. That's true. You haven't seen his other channel? Is there porn that has like green screen? I'm sure yeah. of it. All I'm right. Can positive. you make me a moderator really quick? No. I mean, you are a moderator, but yeah. I am? Okay. Yeah. This thing right here. Are you about to post porn on my chat? Yes. It's called the cloud filter of all <laughs> cloud filters. What's porn? All right. Let's go to... Yeah. Zach Pearson knows. It's a preamp. It like helps you... Uh... Zach Pearson knows all. Yeah, that's what I got. I got a little M audio preamp. Okay, but what does that that's mean? Fast. Most people don't know what a preamp I means. I mean, do people even care? Yes, we do. Okay. Correct. Right. I'll buy one right now. <laughs> I'm not. Check it out. You'll buy one right now. I know I'm plugging my Amazon links into. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Just try, at least use my affiliate link. Can I send it to you? That thing right there. Zach Pearson, can that's you help me out totally with that? Will that, do, will that do anything at all? Cloud plus filter. Hey, good morning. What time zone is uh, Fresh Country in? It's a good name for a channel. As Fresh well. Country? I don't know. How do you minimize a window? All right, well, I have a question for you. That just, This one came in. For me? For you. What's your favorite What's part about being a beer YouTuber? My favorite part is this right now, that I'm a part of something. If I wasn't a part of this, I'd probably just be playing Secret of Mana or, uh, I don't know, being weird, man. Would you, you still know? be brewing beer if you weren't doing YouTube? That's a good question. I've asked uh, Larry about that. He's unsure. Um. The safe answer is probably not. Really? Yeah. Just to think about moving, getting away. You know, when I was in San Diego, I think a lot of the, the reasons that I wanted to brew beer was to kind of show it off when you have friends and stuff like that. I moved out here. I didn't I didn't have any friends. And um to brew five gallon batches, like you you're just gonna drink it all day, you know, this and that. Um, I think, I don't know, unless you were involved in some sort of club or hangout or neighborhood thing or group of friends, 
but other than that, I, I think that I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's very rare to find a home brewer that's been brewing for a decade. You know, people mm. come in, people come out. So to to answer the question as truthfully as I can, I would bet that no, but you know, you you don't know, you know. I don't Right, yeah. I would say no. What about you though? How long I, have you been brewing? Ten years? Yeah, t- but not beer. I feel like I've only been doing beer like seven years or something like that. But you've I, been fermenting for a decade. Yeah, I was doing like uh, yeah, wine and cider and stuff like that. I feel like it's, I think it would roll over more of that. Yeah, I think that it'd be more of just converting sugar into alcohol, right? At a more DIY pace than than it would be brewing. Yeah, and I feel like it would be treated more as like. A true hobby where it's like, I don't have to do this every month. I can just do it when I feel like doing it. Yeah. And the thing about YouTube too, is it's almost really not worth having a YouTube channel unless you're putting out content, you know, like if you just want to, Hey, I'm going to make a YouTube video once a year. It's like, why? Unless you're storing like, you know, family footage on the, the YouTube cloud. Um, there's just a lot. There's just, there's, there's just kind of a lot, but obviously like it kind of goes hand in hand, putting out YouTube and putting brew or, you know, brewing and, and putting out YouTube content. Um, it's kind of like that 50, 50 balance of like, well, I want to, I want to put out content, but I don't, I don't know what I want to put out Trent. So right. Right. Let's brew another batch. Tiger Pat says he's been brewing for 50 years. Dude, that's a huge shout out to Tiger Pat. Tiger Pat. I would love. If you were on my channel, I could hit some buttons right now. That would really appreciate you. Uh, That's amazing. Yeah, Trent gets an F in the hitting the the button department. Wrong. Sorry, but I got. I need a bigger stream deck so I can add more things. I'm just kidding, man. I'm just giving you some shit. <laughs> I can. Mute what about you? you, man? Should I no, mute you? Yeah, do it. Okay. Um, what about you though? Like, what? Did you have any regrets looking back? Did you do? Did you wish you did something different? Did you want to mm-hmm. open up a brewery? Like. Where are you at 100% honestly? Did you think two years ago you'd have more subscribers by now? I, all, I think we all thought we would have. Um, I, don't ha- I don't have any regrets, first and foremost. I, I've enjoyed everything that I've made. I feel like That's every video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just want to see you. I feel like every that. video I put out, I'm like super happy with. There, there are times where I'm like less motivated to make a video, but then I'm like, okay, let me find a way to make it more exciting. Maybe edit it more, maybe put more like creative spin on it. Mm-hmm. So I, I feel like I do feel very proud with every video I make. And that is important to me. Like I'm not going to put something out that I don't feel happy with or whatever. So I'm surprised that I hit 50 K. Like it's just, it's wild to me that like, when I started this, you have an audience like you, you're, you're in the conversation of like, people are waiting for your next video to come out. I appreciate that. But I, I, I feel like it's just, I, I, I still can't even believe that people watch the videos that I make. I feel like a lot of times I'm just making them for myself and it's cool that people watch them. Yeah. I, and agree. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I don't even know. I actually have a kind of something funny to show. I'm, I'm making a, a short about this. Um, but you know how, like, in, on YouTube, they don't give out, like, plaques until you hit 100,000 subscribers or whatever? They give you, yeah. like, this silver plaque? Yeah. And I've always been like, they should totally give something to 50,000. is still, like, a huge number. And even if it's made out of, like, paper. Well, especially in art. Yeah, yeah. So I decided I'm going to make something myself. So I'll, my brother's really into, like, woodworking. Nice. And he, I sent him, like, a file of, like, what it looks like when you hit a hundred thousand, I'm like, can you make this out of wood? And then this is what he made me. It's hard to tell in the lighting, but it's, I see it. A 50, Dude, that's awesome, man. Wooden subscriber. And it says right there, the brew show it's reversed, but you can still see it. 50,000 subscribers. So I was like, dude, my fucking sister would never make something like that for me. So I hope you appreciate I, that. I was yeah. like almost in tears when he gave this to me on like Christmas. And I was like, holy shit, dude. And it's like made out of like, I'm going to be in tears. He works at um the university of West Virginia, 
West Virginia. He's a professor. Was this the brother on the left or the right of the Uh, camera left? So he was the one that didn't speak that much. Camera left. What does camera left mean? If you're looking, if you're you're looking at it, left. If you're behind the camera, he's on the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, this is like something I cherish now, and I have it like right above my desk here, watching it. But I was like, you know what? If they're not gonna give me something for hitting this, like. What I think is a pretty cool milestone. Let's see if we can make it ourselves. Then I'm. Just I think stoked. it's beautiful, man. And not only that, but like Trent, you you're you're gonna hit a hundred thousand. You're you're right around the corner. Like I think you're you're rocking and rolling. Um, I think that's awesome. I, I I think that's rad that you just shared that with us. And more importantly, like that's your own brother. Like I don't. My fucking sister I, has probably never watched one of my YouTube videos. But not only that, but like I don't. I don't, I, I hate like when I'm at the family dinner table and they're like, Hey, here's Casey. He does like YouTube. I'm like, shut the fuck up. People are like, Oh, that's like cool. They think it's like volunteer picking up trash at the beach or Saturday. They're like, Oh, like that. Like, do you make money off of that? I'm like, dude, let's talk about your job. Like, what, what do you do? Uncle Arvin, you know, like what you, you're like, you know, like, Nobody wants to answer like the spotlight on your ass at a family dinner table, right, you know. Yeah. And the bummer about YouTube is like people are like they ask, "You can make money off that?" That's your first question. Yeah, that's yeah. their first. That's question. what everyone wants to know. Yeah. And well, and then the second question is, "Oh, really? Like, well, so how much money do you make?" It's like, how much money do you make, Uncle Larvin? Like, how much money? does a 60 year old, you know, lawyer, you know, like, do you really want to keep this going? You know, it's like, yeah. So it's cool. It It's really cool that people that understand it and, and that they get it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I feel pretty lucky, but I have like people in my life. I agree that... with beer quality nation. $50,000 is remarkable for a beer channel. Um, there's not a lot. There's not, I'm not, I'm not in that club. There's, you're almost there, dude. You are like within. I, do you like track that at all? Like how close you are? I know that I'll get fifty thousand, and then I'll get sixty or seventy because I'm gonna do this later. Vodka. Thing forever. Later, Chris. But I'll uh, later, Braj. Later, Chris. Much love to Chris. But like, it's like I'm still stuck with myself, and I'm gonna, you know, <laughs> like, like nothing's gonna change. You know? No. Um, <laughs> It's cool because it's a metric, and I and I I do think that like how many people have, dude? You might even be like top four or five. Like how many people really have the silver plaque for brewing? It's got to be craft beer channel and Clawhammer. That's all I can think of. Are you city setting, city setting brewing? Is that beer or is that mead? I mean, I guess it's fermentation, but I'm know. with silver hammer brewing. And it, as much as I would love that, I look at channels and, and I was looking at Jesse's channel today and I, you know, I, I pulled some, some Jesse footage from, from still it. He's got a great channel. He's a great dude. I, I fucking mean that dude can tie one on. <laughs> if anybody's into, uh, um, distilling, check out Jesse. Uh, he's out there in uh, New Zealand and, um, He's got like, he's coming up on 400,000 subscribers. Right. He's just got crazy. But if you look at his last videos, like they only get, you know, 10, 15,000 views. It's, it's so weird how the algorithm works. I don't know if he just had, I don't know, maybe one viral video, but like a, no one's ever going to get 400,000 subscribers in a, in a beer channel there's just no audience for it. It doesn't exist. I, I know that that's fine. I, I, I really have no problem with that, but B like if you did have 400,000 subscribers, you'd be getting a lot more than 10,000 views on a video, you know? And I, and I remember talking to Jesse, when we went out to dinner and he was like, he's got this video that's got, um, um, it was the, how to make, vodka from potatoes i think it's, yeah, it's yeah. got a right. million views five five right. yeah and he, i was like how 
I just got to ask, like, how much money do you make off that? And the conversation was there. I didn't just come in and, hey, how much money do you make, you know? Yeah. I didn't go Uncle Larvin on him. But we were out to dinner. We were at Anecdote, like one of the fucking coolest restaurants in, in Asheville. And the place looks like somewhere from Tombstone, you know, like a real OK Corral spot, you know, like a really, you know, and then from that, you can look into their distillery. And I was just like, hey, man. We've been talking about it. How much money did you make off that one video? And everyone can Google it right now. Like how to make vodka or how to make vodka from potatoes. I guarantee you shows up number one. Yeah. And he was like, this video makes anywhere from two to $10,000 a month in ad revenue. So it's very difficult for me to bank on this video and have a family. Right. Right. So it's like, you're getting $10,000 off this one video. Um, let's have a kid, you know, and then like, <laughs> right. you know, Kurt Plunks. So, and we, we got a lot of that off our chest, you know, the highs and the lows of the algorithm. Like sometimes videos hit and sometimes, you know, you, and I think you've, you've been in this conversation where, or Brian and anybody else putting out content. And I don't think this happens on any other platform. I don't think this happens on, on Instagram. Instagram's very topical, but Instagram's also like fool's gold, right? It's, it's, it's likes and you know and and um food food's gold but in which way mm. he was like you can put this video out and it could bomb and then like two years later it could just skyrocket and you're like whoa you know fasten your seatbelt. and uh i think that's what happened to him i've had like a couple of those on mild success stories mm-hmm. you've got a couple of those yeah trent like the ginger beer thing that was yeah. kind of was that a late bloomer yeah, I feel like besides the uh, k- uh, kefir video, they were all late bloomers for sure. They all picked up a little bit later yeah, on, yeah. Yeah. And do you see like, are they? Are they? A, is it America? Is it Europe? Is it's, it? Is it's it international, subtitle? for it's, sure. Okay, so it's all, yeah, non English speaking. Yeah, yeah. So they're watching this stuff with subtitles on, yeah. which is crazy to think like, th- like nobody. And like when you have subtitles on, they don't really understand like your mannerisms and your how funny you are. They're reading it like a kindergartner is reading a new language, like right. verbatim. This I was and that. very, I was very adamant when I started the channel. I was like, I have to convert things for to metric. When I, because you'll see like all my and like all my videos, I was like, I have to convert things to metric because I know there's a whole segment of people that don't use imperial units. So anytime yeah. I put up like a temperature where I put up a weight of something, I always convert it to metric units. Cause I know there's going to be somebody out there watching. That's not from the U S well, not only that, but like Canada's up North and they still kind of, yeah, we confuse it. And they're like, well, it's, we're doing Canada. Like we're going to talk. What do they use in Canada? Do they use metric or Imperial? It's all Celsius and millimeters. Okay. Or, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, which way. Yeah, but um, no, you know, it's your channel. I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm kind of, you know, stealing. I've definitely talked a lot more than you have on your own thing. But I think that you kind of embraced that before I came on tonight. And, no, uh, I mean, it's it's the Q&A of you. So I want to hear from you. I appreciate so, it. Five minute. Yeah. Um, speed round. Okay. Speed round. Yes. Okay. C. Thomas, Canadians, thank you. Yes. Who's coming up after? Okay. Say in a perfect world, you do this twice a month. Right. Okay. I'm who's only going to do it five once people a month. On? <laughs> I'm only going to do it right, once then, a month. Then do it once a month. All right. <laughs> All right. So who's coming on after Steve? And who's coming on after the guy after that? I don't know. I haven't figured that out. Yeah. It depends on what the people want. They got to let me know. Let me know, man. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So let's do a speed round. I got some questions here. What's the favorite uh, video you've made? My favorite video I've made? That's a great question. Fuck. I, you know, I want to know the apartment brewers. I want to know elementaries. Uh, Taking analytics out of it, what did you have the most fun making? Um, I remember like in the early days of the kettle sours when it was two boils and two chills. I remember like 
I remember thinking that if I put, you know, too much lactobacillus in this, it would over sour. Mm. And I loved waking up for homebrew at like five in the morning. I was like, I have to give this like 10 hours. You run out there and clearly you could do that in San Diego. You, you can't, you couldn't do that, you know, last week in Knoxville. Yeah. Um, I think the video that I learned the most from was not a beer video. I think it was um, the Bruce show. I think it was one video where Donnie, I remember Donnie, Donnie always used to slice his shit up. Shout out to Bruce. There was one video where I did the hard seltzer thing at the right time. Mm -hmm. And I remember if I used like the same everything, right? And I think that's the best way to brew or, or, or ferment or whatever, whatever you want to call it anymore. And you do the same thing, but you just change out one variable. And my thing was the yeast. I remember Peter from Genus, first guy ever to send me Kvike Lutra. And it, it's a phenomenal yeast strain. It, I, I think it's the best yeast strain. But he sent me the liquid version, and you know, he sent it to me overnight mail with the with the uh, you know the ice pack connected to it. It was such a barrage move. Peter, fucking love Peter. Yeah. And I did the thing, and I think I think maybe I did four batches, and two of them were dextrose, and two of them were corn sugar, and then two of them were C8 sugar, um, which is that, that's what it's called, which oh, is uh, okay. which is cane sugar. Oh yeah, you know the 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 C the C8 sugar with the uh, yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah, the, yeah the pink yeah. and white. It right. just says C8. Yes. Yeah. yeah yeah. And I remember like er, like everything I do, I was like, I'm gonna spend this whole week trying to figure out hard seltzers, and um, I remember just doing five gallons, five gallons, five gallons, five gallons. Mm. And I got more sugar, I think from the CH. I remember one of them was separate. I remember I was like on a bigger scale, like this is going to add up. This yeah. is going to add up on a small scale. We're talking about, you know, $10 versus $12. Yeah. CNH, beer cross nation. Right. And I, I remember like first time I ever, I ever fucked with turbo yeast, you know, yeah, did you yeah. ever fuck with turbo yeast? And I remember fucking with um, like every like Red Star and all the Cuvée shit and all the all the Amazon dry yeast and and I remember doing it with um, the Luca Kavike or Omega yeah. Kavike and it came out so clear and it was so beautiful and I just remember thinking like this this is science like this, this is this is a real video like this is right. a real video and I think the video was probably. 17 minutes long and at yeah. that time everybody was trying to figure out the whole the whole hard seltzer thing this is like three or four years ago you know yeah like Trent, you remember that like hard seltzer was like a big thing yeah three or four years for ago. sure no yeah and i hit it and i remember looking at it and i drank it like side by side with a white claw and and i had that was the video where all of nations sent us everybody man and it, it just yeah. drove me crazy because i made fermented coconut water Dude, they sent me everything, and I remember <laughs> nothing worked out except for the citrus, you know. And, yeah, um, yeah. I remember I did like I over pitched the vanilla, but then I I was able to mix it with the lime, and I just called it key lime. And then you you think you've got like the best YouTube video ever, or the or the best uh, little kid science project. And that morning it was like the homebrew challenge, Sarah Flora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Like everybody put the video out and. Uh, that's why you don't want to do affiliate marketing. That's why you want to collect your money up front because you never know. Like they did a giant email blast, right? right? So right, whoever right, put right. made the first video might be getting those links. But after that, they're going to know that a it's not organic. Everyone's yeah, yeah. got a, you know, a political sponsored bullshit video. Um, so I did, that was like one of the first videos I got, like, five hundred dollars or a thousand bucks and and i learned a lot from that and i and i definitely respected the yeast through that process nice. I, I, omega and i wrote them and uh it was a great video so which right. wait can i can i use the restroom really quick and then sure yeah that was the longest yeah. lightning round question i've sorry ever. about that <laughs> uh all of nation has entered the chat yeah whatever happened to them i made a video with them that i mean I actually just threw out some All of Nation stuff yesterday because I was like, I've ha had this extract for how many years now? Two years? Can't
can't be good anymore. Cam Reeves, love the show. I'm in Ontario, Canada. I said that so weird. Ontario, Canada. We use Celsius, but all of my weight and length measurements are imperial. It, very interesting. I love that. It's like a weird mix of things. So I'm glad that I put both of them on there. Um, the U- Beer Qua says the YouTube challenge. Host a stream while... Why did I read that without reading it first? Beer Qua. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys are silly. You guys are too silly. All right, we, let's wrap this up. Let's get this. Let's get out of here. I think it's. I think it's time. I think it's time we get out of here. The, time ready? to get out of here. Hold on, really quick. We have to hear your story, but really quick, I just want to say one last thing. Yes. When I was doing that, I I'll always remember this, Bruchio. When I was doing the side by side yeast comparison thing, when I had the turbo yeast and I mixed it with hard seltzer, it tasted exactly like um, cheap sake and and it looked like it too. Oh wow. From Japanese restaurants. No, and I was like, dude, like I'm pretty good with my sensory images. I always remember things. I've I've got like a pretty vivid memory when it comes to seeing things, hearing things, tasting things, touching Mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dude, this is this is it. Like this is how they do it. Like this is not sake. This is hard seltzer turbo yeast. Yeah. Any which way, what, what's your favorite video of all time? My favorite video of all time? Oh, man. That's a tough question. You asked me. I know, because you're on the spot tonight. And now you're asking me. I, my favorite video. You know, honestly, one of my favorite videos was the um, one we did together, but you were you just came in at the very end. The Halloween video I just did. Dude, and that's get, in my next video. I get daily comments on like, I didn't expect it to be CH or like, I no, <laughs> I, it was the other way. People were like, I knew it was going to be. Yeah. Yeah. But now time. I'm getting yeah. comments. that are like, I didn't expect that. Or yeah. Yeah. So that was fun. I, I appreciate you doing that for me. That was fun. I appreciate you taking that four second clip I sent you and putting that in there. But that like, <laughs> that was your, that was your real favorite video of all time. Cause that was very cinematic and yeah, it was fun um, to I make. think that's your that's your style. Yeah, yeah. And I'm putting that in in our PB and J video. I was like, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, we brew and we hang out, and he he tries to pretend that I'm Sidney Prescott or uh, <laughs> what was I? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. saw that movie in the theaters like a bunch of times. Yeah, so. you got it. No, you got it, Sydney for sure. It, well, uh, she was the one that was going to get murdered, right? Yeah, and then yeah. it wasn't Emil Hirsch or the guy that played Shaggy. Right, it was the other guy, uh, Skeet uh, Oldrich. Yes, Skeet dude! Old, yeah. Wow, holy <laughs> shit! I told you, man. I know it all. Yes. And then the weird guy, my mom's gonna kill me. That was Matthew Lillard. <laughs> yes. Right. So Hello, shaggy. Sydney. Fucking shaggy. Want to play a game? Yeah. So maybe I could rip on that, but yeah, um, yeah. that was fun. No, let yeah, and let's get out of here. Yeah, You're yeah. right. Yeah. You know, it's, it's been nice. It's been get- fun. I appreciate everybody coming out. All the super chatters. Let me shout them out real quick because I got them all right here. Obviously, you, Homebrew for Life, Tony. We got Goose Rava became a member. Blackboard Brews became a member. Sparger became a member. James Manuel dropped some. Latchy McFarlane, Cityscape, Northwest dropped some memberships. Apartment Brewer, Elementary became a member. 100%. Silver Hammer became a member. Proust. Thank you all. Thank you, everybody Bruce that Rips. joined. Thank you, CH, for coming and doing this. I feel like you made the first the inaugural version of this very easy because we have a relationship. We're friends. So hundred percent, man. Yeah. Cheers, and, man. um, let's get out of here. And, um, I don't know, man, I'm not trying to bomb in on your next month's thing, but if you and Steve are drinking some beers, maybe I can, you know, chime in for a beer too. Right. Maybe we can go make a little third square, like right here, put a little like, tiny man. one just, and make your like voice really quiet. So we just barely hear you. It's going to be impossible. I'll still <laughs> Darth Vader. Am I, am I? Is it too loud? Like I can't. <laughs> no, I'm can't. regulating you over here. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, y'all. All Thanks right. for having me. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next month. And also watch tomorrow. Video 